enchanted hat of money buff reduces your salt levels. The hat is warm. <laughs> what the fuck? Oh no, you didn't, you motherfucking piece of shit cocksucker. Mark my fucking words. I'm coming for you. I'm gonna find out who the fuck you are. You motherfucker. You are fucked. Let this be noticed live on the internet. You're fucked. And you are done. The Ziggy Piggy's back. Charles River. I could die right now, Glenn. I'm just happy. I've never felt that before. I was completely worthless.
The lag was so bad there at the end. What happened? Why the lag is so serious? Today's been incredibly slow. Do you want to play the fucking game? What do I do? Super fucking scrubby. I need th that money. I really do. I need that money to pay my bills.
It's none of anyone's business. Business related, I still have it. This 
Ziggy Piggy's back. <laughs> Good morning, everybody, and welcome to the pre-stream podcast. And ladies and gentlemen, today is my final consecutive streaming day of the week. I'm Dark Side Phil, by the way. If you don't know who I am, if you don't know who I am, I ended up here. Um, we're trying something different on a win this morning. I decided to try something different, and I have absolutely, positively no idea how what I'm doing right now is going to affect today's stream. Now, this shocks me. So allow me to explain. For those of you who are watching this podcast on demand on YouTube, it probably won't affect it at all. But for those watching on the stream, it may affect it in a huge way. So today is Monday the 11th of April 2022, and today... Right here, live on my first stream, we are trying out ultra low latency streaming here on YouTube. Okay? I have absolutely never tried this before. So I have no idea how it's going to work. All right? But allow me to explain how this works on YouTube with streaming and the reason why I wanted to try this out in particular today. Okay? When you live stream on the internet, here's what happens. You... As the content creator or streamer, create a video with a camera, a capture setup, hardware, etc. When that video is created, it is then sent live broadcasted through the internet to a server somewhere, or another third-party website. Okay, that server has to take your video in as raw data. Okay, create essentially a stream of it, a stream, live stream of this data, and then convert it on the fly to various different qualities, all right? Then, once it's converted to certain qualities on the fly, it then resends out that signal to the world via some kind of a viewable link, okay? So, a perfect example here, today on YouTube, I'm sending a stream to YouTube, which gets this stream, Converge it to all these different qualities from all the way down to 144p, all the way up to 1080p. All right. Sends it back out to a link that you guys are now viewing. You're watching that link right now. That's where YouTube is rebroadcasting this stream. Okay. So that's how it works. Now, normally, when you do this process, because of the fact that you're sending this to a server, the server has time to convert and then send re out, re out, resend the stream out again, there's delay. All right. From what my experience, stop this. From streaming now since 2013, almost 10 years of streaming, I have experienced delays as short as maybe 10 to 15 seconds, but as lengthy as a minute. I've seen pretty damned long delays over the years. The good news is, over the years, pretty much all streaming services have worked to try to reduce that amount of delay that there is between the time when I'm doing something and you see it, okay? What's the big deal about the delay? Why is it even an issue? Well, I'll give you some examples. Sometimes I'm in the middle of playing a game, all right, and I'm doing something important or doing something interesting, and someone might say in the stream chat, hey, Phil, just so you know, there's a hidden cave to your left, and you just passed it. You should turn around and find it because it's interesting. Okay, but I keep playing. I don't see your message right away. You're watching video that I put out anywhere from 30 seconds to a minute in the past, okay? So by the time that your message actually hits my stream chat and I see it, I could be way past the point where you're referencing. And I recently, with Elden Ring in particular... Are you a functional retard? I have to ask. There have actually been multiple situations where people were trying to help me with something... And I saw it so late, it didn't really help. So, for example, there was a hidden area where there's an invisible tower. You need to hit three symbols to make the tower visible and enter it. Well, people are trying to tell me for like five to ten minutes, there's this rock. That's an illusory rock. And you need to hit that rock, and then it becomes the symbol, and then you can solve the puzzle. But every time I go near the rock, people try to tell me, but their message comes out a minute later, right? So I'm going in circles trying to find this rock and I'm just never finding it until finally I I basically kind of stumble upon it myself seeing all these messages pasted on the ground. That's not the only example. There have been actually probably about two dozen times in the last month and a half that I've been playing Elden Ring and people are like, we can actively help you with something here, but they can't. 
because the lag is annoying. You see? Now, YouTube. As a There's streaming a service has three set internet called Super that they Hound, have whatever the for fuck the streaming its name is. Normal mode makes the smoothest streaming experience, but is massively delayed. A minimum of around like thirty seconds to all the way upwards of a minute or more. So normal mode for someone like me who likes I to interact with his like audience, act, talk act, with you act. guys, and have a good time on a stream. <laughs> Honestly, or, normal mode is just not going to cut it. <laughs> Does that so like, the entire act, time act, that I've been act, streaming act, here on YouTube, no, I've been using what's called like low latency all. mode. This mode is designed to try to minimize the latency. <clears throat> and I think what YouTube is saying they're aiming for is anywhere between 10 seconds to 30 seconds of delay with the low latency mode. Now, it's weird because sometimes when I've done this, it seems like you guys are reacting to something that I just did in the game like right away. And then other days, I distinctly see reactions late. Like, I'll beat a boss. Okay, I got the runes. I'm reacting to all the items I got for the boss. I'm looking at the description. And then I turn to the stream chat like a minute later, and people are like, ha, he beat the boss. Like, oh. How? Like, you guys are way behind. You see? So it's it's different. And I think it really depends on many factors, including just how, how YouTube's doing that day. If YouTube has a lot of traffic, likely the delay is more. While if there's not a lot going on, it's a slower day on YouTube. Maybe the delay is less. I don't know. Okay. Well, YouTube has a third mode, and that mode is called Ultra Low Latency Mode, okay? This mode supposedly is supposed to make it near instantaneous from when I'm doing something on stream and you guys see it. Now, I don't know if there's actually been a test, all right, of how good this is. So what I want to do today is I want to test it. Right now, I am broadcasting at Ultra Low Latency Mode. YouTube actually has a big warning pop-up. When you try to do this, it says, warning, if you're going to do ultra low latency mode, you cannot go above 1080p resolution. You cannot go above 60 frames per second. It can't handle it. It'll cause more delay. So don't, you don't do that. Okay. All right. Let's see how this goes. You guys ready? So get ready. Cause here's what I'm going to do. I'm going to tell you guys something randomly to type into the chat. And when you do, I'm going to count how long it takes from when I say to do it and when you actually do it. All right? And in fact, do I still have that stopwatch app? Actually, no, I don't think I do. Fuck, I used to have a stopwatch app. Uh. <laughs> shit. Because I wanted to time it. Clock. Wait, here it is. Stopwatch. Here it is. Ready? So here's what I'm going to do. All right? I'm going to announce. I'm, I'm going to say a number. As soon as you hear me say the number, please type the number in chat. All right? And what I'm going to do, I'm going to hit start well, when I say I the do? number, and I'm going to hit stop the moment that I see the first number posted in the chat. PayPal. Okay? So get ready. I'm going to do it in just a second. I'm going to say a number, PayPal. and then please type that number in chat. Ready? Ready? Go. Nine. PayPal is okay. a network of uh, five interconnected seconds. banking institutions. That five use, second uh, delay. That's not bad at all. That's really good, uh, actually. Online five, to transfer five uh, funds from seconds. one entity to another in a legal and a monetary now, capacity. Now, if we keep it at that, uh, that would be excellent. Uh, to the IRS. And I uh, see no reason, at least with my current setup and the way I do things, that I wouldn't be able to keep it at ultra low latency. Reason being... It's 1080p, 60 frames per second. It's essentially exactly the limit of what YouTube says you can do for ultra low latency. So that's pretty good. That's pretty darn good. And I'm happy about that because this, I feel, will allow these streams to feel more interactive. As I I'm doing something cat, live on a stream, like you immediately get to react to it. I get to see your reaction <laughs> right says that. away. I am cat and I like okay. my balls. Cool. So this is a cool experiment. Now, here's the thing. All right, I got to forewarn everyone. I have absolutely no idea, all right, how good this is going to work and if this affects anyone's stream quality. It very well may. You may be watching and be like, wow, why does Phil's stream look terrible today? If that's the case, please let me know. And if it's like two people, that's one thing. If it's like a large group of my viewers, maybe there's a sacrifice somewhere along the way. I don't know. I don't know how exactly it works, okay? What do I so do? So obviously, I don't want to make a big sweeping change like this and then somehow really hinder the viewing it's dark dave's experience fault. for the people watching you see 
So please, again, let me know uh, how you feel it is. If you think it's good, if you like Super this Helms better fault. ultra low latency, or if you think it's a dud because it's it's making your viewing experience worse. Okay, there you go. It's Tevin's fault. Maybe Hobo X says maybe maybe the way they do it is they just process your stream less. Maybe, <laughs> but that's what I mean. Like for example, what if the reason that it's ultra low latency is because you don't get all the viewing options you used to get? Because I know YouTube usually has a ton. They have 144p, uh, 480p, another one in between, like 800p, and then 1080p. You know, they have like five, six settings for those who have various different levels of quality of internet. And game? obviously, if someone can only watch at a certain setting and that setting has disappeared, I don't want to do that. That's kind of messed up. I don't want to leave people in the dust just because we're trying something new. Um, but at, at the same time, if I can do this higher quality, I think it works out. Now, here's the other thing, too. Someone just said in the stream chat earlier, well, Phil, how can you do that? Because weren't you saying that with your current setup, basically your CPU is pushed to the max in certain situations? Isn't this going to hurt your, your computer further? It has nothing to do with me. The latency is actually on YouTube's and not me. So it puts more taxing you know, processing on YouTube, not me. I'm putting out the exact same quality of broadcast that I always do. So it shouldn't affect anything. On my end, actually. Why are you an idiot if you don't agree? If you don't agree, because some people are saying they're watching a 720 p frame, frame and they have all options in your normal. face, and you ignore it and choose to believe something else. Can you else watch at 1080p, or are you telling me you are capped at 720p and you cannot watch 1080? There for you. Wiley Coyote says I'm at 1080. My Rune says I'm at 1080. Okay, good. I was a little worried for a second there. Okay, good. What it is is some people, I guess they'll have different options depending on their own visual uh, capabilities of what you're watching on and stuff. You probably will say, oh, your device isn't capable of 1080p, so only show 720 or something like that. Okay, <clears throat> cool. Excellent. That's good news. So, all right. So let's experiment with this today. This might help tremendously. I kind of wish I had tried this for the beginning of Elden Ring, to be honest with you, but I, I didn't, it didn't dawn on me. Until this morning, I'm just sitting there setting up the stream, looking at the options. I'm like, wait a minute. This is something no-brainer to try because I've been having issues with this during this particular playthrough, you know? All right, cool. Let's try it out. Let's see how it goes. And I hope it does go well today, all right? So something new, something experimental. And I hope that it'll work. And I hope you guys enjoy having less latency on my streams moving forward. All right? Good stuff. Okay. Your repeal. <laughs> And that's it, because you're just going to waste our time. Gooby again. Goober says, I'm weak of hearing. I have to use a transcript. I can no longer see it. Why is your stream less accessible? Uh-oh, there you go. That might very well be something that's a change. Is that true? Or transcript of the stream. I guess, wait a minute. Do you mean, okay, closed captioning, right? Hello, I am trying out low latency streaming today to see its effects on the stream. However, it seems that captions are apparently disabled with this feature. <laughs> I did not know of this. So this is an experiment. I'm sorry. If it has negatively affected your viewing experience today. We will see how it goes moving forward. <clears throat> okay. <laughs> All right. So I just typed to that guy twice. Hopefully he saw that. Um. Well, there you go. Seriously, there you go. Uh, there's There is a direct change. Less latency, but it sounds like the, it, because of the re reduced latency, YouTube does not have the ability to put the closed captions on the stream on the fly. You see? Hmm. <clears throat> now, I apologize, Gooby. I'll type again. I don't care. Okay. And that goes for anyone else, too. If you were relying on the closed captioning, it may very well be, may be if we do the low latency and there's no closed captioning, you may have to watch on demand. I'm sure on demand, when the videos get processed, probably the closed captioning gets added. 
I didn't, I'll be honest with you guys, I didn't even know there were closed captioning on the streams at all. I had no idea. Yeah. <laughs> Stilton Shadow says the YouTube auto-generated captions suck anyway. They're always way off. I wouldn't know. I've never used them, but there you go. Okay. Look out, there's a black woman coming. Ah! She takes them both out. Boom! Steals the backpack and runs away. Oh. Okay. <laughs> yeah, I don't know. I actually don't know when closed captioning got put on streams. I had no idea. Huh. What an idiot. Okay. All right. So, ladies and gentlemen, we're about to get started. What I'm going to do is go through the schedule for today, talk about what's coming up in the rest of the week. But I have something shut up very dude important I need to talk to you guys about today. Okay. I'm going to be as honest and transparent with you as possible. Uh, I need help today. Here's why. So this week is the week of the month. It's basically between the like the the uh, the end of the first week of the month and into the early second week of every hint, month. Hint, hint. I have two very large bills. I don't have money to do it. 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 It sucks. I hate talking about this shit. I just don't want to talk about it, but I have to. I actually have to. Um, here's what happened this week. We started off this week with a great stream, my marathon birthday stream, right? It went really well. People came out in droves. We had a great time together. Support was really high. Everything was good, okay? Between my birthday stream and basically the next day, okay, um, what happened was I raised a good amount of funds, and that was enough, essentially, to pay these large bills that I have to pay this week. In fact, one's cleared and one's clearing today. All right. Great. Thumbs up. That was all good. And I was very pleased. I was like, this is good. Because now I have Friday, Saturday, Sunday, Monday to stream. And whatever I make during those days is basically for my day off, which pays for things like my grocery bill, pet supplies, uh, odds and ends. Like this week, I, I really need to go to the dump and dump some trash that's been building up here. Um, among other things, you know, all, it's basically the one day a week I go out and I run errands and I pay for stuff. Okay? So... I paid those bills, or I'm going to pay because one of them is clearing today. And everything else I was going to raise over the weekend is for tomorrow, my day off. Okay? I know that sounds weird. Like, you don't have any more money? No, I don't. Like, literally, every week I'm kind of living week to week at this point. Um, ever since I got kicked off Twitch last year, it's been that way. Um, I, I say kicked off Twitch. I wasn't kicked off Twitch. I was kicked out of their partner program. I left Twitch willingly. Allow me to say it the right way before assholes spin it and say something. Oh, Phil made a big confession on stream today because they're fucking idiots. Okay, anyway. <clears throat> so, ever since I lost the level of subscriber and cheering support that I used to get on Twitch last year, I've never recovered from it. I am doing a slow growth here on YouTube. I absolutely am. But if you notice, what happened was when I left Twitch last year and came to YouTube, my tips goals went up. They used to be $100 a stream, and I wasn't even expecting to hit that. Now my tips goals are $150 a stream, hoping that with that kind of as a stretch goal that I do decently on a stream, okay? um, I kind of need to be hitting some of these goals. Not all of them, but I need to be hitting some of them during the course of a week, or else I can't pay my stuff. I just can't. That's, that's This is how I make my living. But very matter-of-factly, it's these contributions on streams that allow me to pay my day-to-day -day bills, okay? Um, when memberships eventually increase, which they have not for several months, if you haven't noticed, but when memberships eventually increase, or when the Super Chats and Super Stickers become more prevalent and more constant, which they are, I can tell you that, in the last year, those have gone up, but this has not, okay? As this channel grows more over the years coming up, all right? it likely won't be an issue anymore because eventually what's going to happen is people are going to get used to me being on YouTube. People are going to finally, I hope, see YouTube as a viable alternative to Twitch for streaming. And hopefully YouTube will get off their lazy asses and actually deliver on the promises that they made last year, including gifted memberships and dramatic improvements to streaming that will make more people want to come see people stream on YouTube. Because right now, the discoverability on YouTube is ridiculous. Not many people are coming to YouTube to watch people stream, so I can't get discovered as a streamer here. On Twitch, that's the opposite. On Twitch, everyone goes to Twitch to find streamers. Here, it's, it's kind of like no one's really looking for it. You know what I'm saying? So it's been tough. I, even though I really worked my, my butt off this last year, 
Look at the innovations and the things that I've done to my stream. I now have a podcast every day with overlays, improvements to things that I do. I'm actively listening to you guys. Put thumbnails on, on, on your streams and do this and do that. I'm doing everything I can. The, literally, the only thing I really haven't done yet is upgrade my setup, which I want to do this year. We talked a little bit about that a couple of days ago. We won't get into that today, but I'm doing as much as I can, all right? And the channel has grown, and I'm happy with how it's grown. Problem is, it hasn't worked <laughs> Thanks the rate for the money, that it would have been bonk. awesome to ca Grug catch up where I was on Twitch. Grug need all right? Money. Take a Feel look. I haven't even made 200,000 subs. Cake. I'm trying. Cake I was hoping I could this by my cake. birthday. It didn't happen. At this point, we're like at like 197.5 and climbing. So it is climbing. It's consistent growth, but it's slow growth. It's going to take a while to get that growth to grow more more quickly. All right? Um. So basically, yeah, I'm week to week, I'm living day to day on tips and on revenue from when I get paid once a month by YouTube. Okay? Um. This is a situation where here's what happened this week. Okay? My birthday went well, super well. Seriously. And then the next day went decent, pretty much on par with what you would expect, okay? YouTube and the last good stream on. essentially I had was the premiere stream of Lego Star Wars on Friday. And then since then, I haven't even hit <clears throat> the hat for one single stream, meaning I haven't raised the $100 tip goal on any of my streams over the entirety of the weekend. So here's what happened. I had one day that was great, a day that was normal, and then after that it went way down. And what happened is when it went way down, it literally negated the positivity of the birthday stream. It basically canceled it out. If, if this were a normal week, it would have had pretty good days every day. And then it would have been great, fine. But now we're in a situation where it was like, oh, Phil had a really good day. And then all of a sudden everything slowed down over the weekend. And now I'm down here like, wait a minute. So I paid my bills with the money from the birthday stream in the next day. And now I need to raise funds for Tuesday. Oh, shit. I, you know, I've been streaming three straight days. And every stream has been slow. I don't even have enough for tomorrow. I'm serious. Like tomorrow right now, as of right now, <clears throat> looking at what I have. Okay. Um, basically, I, I have enough for groceries. Yeah, that's about it. I don't have, I, I don't have money for pet supplies. I, you know, this is the day that I have one day a week where I have a meal with my wife. By the way, I need yesterday was money. my I wedding really do. I need that money to pay my bills. What did I do for my wedding anniversary? I streamed all day. While my wife was out running errands and stuff during the day. That was our wedding anniversary. See what I mean? Like, this is how it is around here. I am hoping that later this month, hopefully we can do something and celebrate. We didn't even get to celebrate. Third year in a row we didn't celebrate, by the way. Um, that's just my life, okay? So, it sucks. Like, oh, we're going to have a day off. Hey, we can have a meal together. Wait, I have no money. It sucks. This is terrible. I know. I don't want to tell you these guys this shit. I'm tired of it. I'm tired of it, personally, talking about it and dealing with it. I want to get to a point in my life where it's not like this. We were getting there last year when Twitch fucked me. When Twitch screwed me over by kicking me out of the partner program with absolutely no justification for it, just because they felt like it. They wanted to get rid of streamers who basically have a negative association, despite the fact that they even did anything wrong. Just because 10 years ago, I did things that are now in the modern day considered cancelable and they were that was presented to twitch management and they said oh we can't have this guy on our side but sir he's been with us for over five years as a partner and never had an issue fuck that get him off and they did it with me they did it with wings of redemption they did it with dr disrespect and they did it with many other people i'm by i'm by i'm by i'm by i'm by with the amount of support i had on twitch if i kept that going and growing Right now, I would have been in a completely different financial situation. They fucked me. Okay? <clears throat> so that being said, all right, I need your help today. I do. I need to be hitting support goals. I have to. If I don't hit my support goals for today, I, you know, I don't know. Are you going to just month. complain all night? I don't want to talk that. about this. I'm fucking pissed. I'm actually fucking upset that I have to bring this shit up. You know what? Because I'm tired of it. I'm tired of this, this being like this. And you know what I'm also tired of? The idiots who literally will lie every day about me. Every fucking day they lie and say fucked up things about me that aren't true. I'm here every day, six days a week streaming for you guys, trying to put out entertaining, meaningful content that in, hopefully, in the hopes that you're getting something out of it and some people will find value out of it and support it so I can run a business, right? That's what I'm doing. I'm not doing any fucked up things behind the scenes that these idiots are saying. I'm not frivolously blowing all my money. It's going to bills. I literally paid my internet bill, and today my dues cleared. I have no money. 
And I have to hear these idiots make shit up about me on a daily basis and try to make slanderous shit all over the internet. It's fucking not true and never was. And I'm tired of that shit. And because it really pisses me off when stuff like that disseminates and out. Oh, well, don't be- Phil doesn't need any help or anything. Don't believe him because he's doing this and doing that. I'm doing none of it. And they get away with saying it. And I can't do anything about it. There's no way for me to stick up for myself or defend myself from that fucking slander. And it pisses me off. It absolutely does. <clears throat> so that being said, all right, if you like my content and if you can support the streams today, please do. In particular, I absolutely need help with tips today. If you tip me today and I hit the goals today, I'm in a good position for tomorrow. If I stream today and I hit none of the goals, I'm fucked. And essentially, I'll, I'll be going grocery shopping. I guess we're going to buy eat a, eat, a, eat a lunch meat sandwich, you know, for our day off. Can't even have a meal out or nothing because, you know, this is the situation I'm in. And it fucking sucks. <clears throat> now, again, I want you to understand, I'm not asking for anyone to go above and beyond their means. I'm not asking for anything that makes you uncomfortable. I'm just saying if you like the content and you've been thinking about contributing and you haven't yet, please do. Or if you were somehow of the impression that because I had a good birthday marathon that all of a sudden everything's like crazy over here and I'm rolling in dough like these idiots fucking say. Because let me tell you, I'm not kidding you. People are coming in here and they're like, oh, did you know that Phil raised this exact dollar amount when you combine the tips and all of the other interactions and things that he had on his stream on his birthday? They actually do this. They sit there in a number crunch like fucking losers. And they say, oh, here's what Phil made. It's completely wrong because there's fees associated with PayPal transactions. When you transfer money, you lose money. Uh, none of that is correct. The things that there's, oh, super, those for a month and a half. So they act like, like this thing, this amazing thing has happened that did not, you know, and they lie. And then what do they do is they, they cause this mass misconception on the internet that I'm somehow rich and rolling in dough when I literally, every dollar I have goes to bills every fucking week. Okay. And I'm tired of it. I am. I'm just tired of it because I, I fully believe that this weekend would not have seen three straight slow days during new releases, will you? It's not that it's like, oh, well, Phil's really not doing much in regards to his content. I'm playing a new release. I bought Lego Star Wars, so that was 60 bucks plus tax, you know, and I'm still playing Elden Ring. We brought back Skyrim, which everybody wanted. Everyone wanted Skyrim back, right? And that's back. I'm doing what people want every day, and you guys are thanking me and saying this is great content. But all of a sudden, support dips. You want to know why? Because of the birthday stream. You know? And by the way, I enjoyed doing it. I had a blast doing the birthday stream. But I don't like how, because something positive happens to me, all of a sudden now, tons of people on the internet have to try to ruin it. And make lies about it and spin it in a way that's untrue. Oh, yeah, I feel like a good birthday stream. He doesn't need support for weeks now. He's set. Like, what the fuck are you talking about? You're not even, again, these people don't understand adult life. To them, it's like, oh, someone had a good stream. Oh, they're set for months. Yeah, maybe if I was a streamer who had 4,000 plus viewers on a stream and I was running a stream of Elden Ring and I brought in, you know, $5,000 in profit on that one stream, then maybe I'd be set for a week. <laughs> Didn't happen. It's my birthday stream and, you know, it, it's just, it's, it's called scale and these people don't understand scale. What they want to do is they just want to talk shit constantly and make shit up, and it hurts me, and it sucks because I feel like I am more susceptible to this bullshit than other content creators. I'm not at a level where their slander doesn't hurt me. You know what I'm saying? Um, and it's I, and again, I wish, I wish that I had immunity to it. I wish that I was at a level where we could just sit here every day and never talk about this and just f do fun content. Truth is, I was at that level many years ago. And you remember back in the day, was I sitting here talking about this shit before all the financial shit happened and it really started in 2015 with all the false copyright strikes that ruined DSP gaming and made it way less profitable. Before 2015, it was a rarity when I would be talking about this kind of stuff. Very, you know, and now it's 2008 to 2015, do the math. That's fucking eight years where I basically just pumped out free content and didn't have to ever talk about this shit. It was because of the direct actions of scumbags that screwed me over and put me in a position where I had to start talking about, I need help, I need support, please support crowdfunding, blah, blah, blah. You know? It's really fucked up. And it's just, you know, it, it puts me to my wit's end. Here I am, 
on my, you know, my birthday and anniversary week, any other human would be planning, hey, I could have some time off, right? I wish that I could have some time off so that I could spend with my wife. End of the week, I realized I don't even have enough to fucking have my day off on Tuesday, my normal day off, because shit had slandered me all week and basically said that I was rolling in dough, which I'm not, and now here we are, all right? So, the point I'm making here is simple, all right? Don't listen to bullshit on the internet. Just because there was one positive day does not mean that everything else ends. It's kind of like, it's, it's so silly because people make this weird analogy, right? They're like, oh, well, you did really good today, so that means you're set for like the whole week. It's like, wait a minute, let me get this straight. You own your own business. It's a store. You have a store, okay? You sell product. One day you open your doors, all of a sudden, for some reason, a bunch of customers came in, they bought your product up, you're good, right? Does that mean you close the store for the rest of the week? You don't have to work, right? What? No. It's not how it works. Life goes on. You have to have that consistency. And that's really what I'm looking for. I'm looking for consistency. I'm looking at every day, no matter what I play or what I stream, I can basically get a certain amount of support and funding so that it's not a concern anymore. For a while, I was in that position. I didn't have to mention this shit, right? And then sadly, you know, last year with the Twitch thing, it hasn't really changed back to being positive again. And it sucks. And, got, and by the way, again, it, you guys... I appreciate everything you guys are doing, right? It's not you. It's these scumbags on the internet. They're really fucking stuff up for me, and they're doing their best. They really are. They're actively doing their best at every moment's notice to try to do negative stuff about me and my business and shit. And it pisses me off that I can't do anything about it. That here I am. I've been doing this 14 years, and there's no protection against it yet. YouTube still hasn't thought that, oh, it's not a big issue. If someone just sits there and lies and slanders you constantly, go get a lawyer and sue them. You know, because the people who work at YouTube are rich, so they think that you can, everyone could just get a lawyer and sue someone, right? Oh, yeah, it's a very easy process, right? Like, they're out of their fucking minds. So anyway, um, you know, it is what it is. And here's funny, he says, just ignore them. I do! Did you notice? Did I bring up, did I bring up any of this until today when all of a sudden I realized I can't have my day off tomorrow right now? Right? <laughs> you're, you're ignoring only does so much because when you ignore the issue and you don't address it, sadly, a lot of people are gullible and believe it. That's just the truth. And the matter is that they think, oh, it's true then. So it's true that Phil raised a ridiculous amount on his birthday and he doesn't need anything for like two weeks, three weeks. He's fine, right? That's what I mean. That is, if I say nothing, then that lie becomes believed as truth. So now I have to address it. Well, now you're addressing negativity on your stream. You're right. What do you want me to do? If I don't address it, I get hurt. If I address it, I get hurt. The bottom line is I need to eat tomorrow. All right, so there you go. That's why I'm bringing it up on my stream, okay? So again, let me reiterate. I'm not asking for anything crazy. I'm not saying go crazy and go above your means. But if you like the content, maybe you've been holding off on contributing or you've been thinking about contributing in one way, I would ask that if you are going to contribute today, please tip me. That would help me for tomorrow dramatically. It would allow me to have my day off with my wife, which we deserve, which we didn't even get celebrate our fucking anniversary yesterday. It would be great if we could actually do that tomorrow. We're not, we're not, just to let you know, we're not celebrating our anniversary tomorrow. What we want to do is later in the month, I'm hoping that uh, I have an opportunity to do something with her. We're actually trying to plan something that's within reason here. Uh, like maybe drive, uh, you know, somewhere in the state and go to a mall and have a nice time, you know, doing a little bit of shopping if we can even afford anything, have a nice meal out somewhere where we normally don't eat. You know, we were talking about this summer, we want to go to the zoo at some point. That would be nice. We've only been trying to go to the zoo for three years and haven't had made it out there. You know, that's literally the life we live. Um, it would be nice. So we'll see. All right. We'll see what happens on our end. But the truth of the matter here is, you know, I'm just tired of the slander making me feel like shit. You know, it's it sucks. If it wasn't for that, I feel like this, well, here's what would have happened. I would have had a great birthday stream, excellent, and then every day this week would have been just a normal day. And if everything was normal, I wouldn't be here in this situation doing this today on this on this morning's free stream. Instead, it would be just, oh, business as usual. But instead, here comes the slander. Here comes the negativity. Wow, Phil made so much. He doesn't need anything. So now I got, oh, we, wow, can't hit any goals any day. Every day, I'm like, wow, I'm playing Elden Ring. <laughs> Thanks for the, the money, stupid that, boss. Historically, over the course Can of the month and a half, I've been playing this game. Boss claims? People have come out in droves to support it, and even that's slow support. Obviously, something's up. Obviously, I hate to say it, people get gullible and believe they're bullshit. And it's fucking pissing me off, you know? 
Now, I will outright say something because I'm tired of this. I spent no fucking money this weekend on mobile fucking games. I don't even actively play mobile games. I'm tired of the fucking sl slander against me. Oh, you know what happened? Phil, he spent all his money on mobile games. I spent zero, zero. It went to my fucking bills. And I don't want to put up with their bullshit anymore when they lie about this constantly. It didn't fucking happen. All right? I'm tired of it. Enough is fucking enough. Okay. <laughs> I'm 40 years old. Had enough of this shit. Okay. <sighs> All right, here's some. Here you go. Here comes the shit talking in my chat. So, what did you think was gonna happen when you started shit talking me in my chat? <laughs> you think I was gonna be happy about it and laugh and say, "Oh, you're funny." Okay. <laughs> Thanks for the money, banned, stupid banned, fuck. Banned, 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 yeah, banned. it totally happened. All right. Dumped one thousand dollars on JPEGs. So Thank you in advance to anyone who tips me today, whether it's the first or second stream or whatever. And I actually said this in the uh, Daily Wrap last night, but I'll say it again here for the pre-stream podcast. If you're someone who only watches my content on demand on YouTube, thank you, first of all. I appreciate that. You guys are the core audience of, of, of who build this channel. Like, I really feel like it is the people, the thousands of people a day who are watching the on-demand videos. That kept this channel. I don't have money to do it. Years that I was over on Twitch focusing on that. I don't really do it. I don't have money to do it. I don't have money to do it. I don't have money to do it. The ad revenue ain't cutting it, man. That's why I can't make a living just doing on-demand videos anymore. The ad revenue is ridiculous. It's very, very low on my videos. And on top of that, a playthrough like what I'm doing right now, Lego Star Wars, zero ad revenue because it has the John Williams soundtrack in it. So, please consider contributing in another way if you can. Is as simple as liking a video, liking a stream, leaving a comment. That's a non-financial contribution. You can do that helps this channel if you like the content. Okay, but if you can go above and beyond, hey, consider becoming a channel member. In particular, today, the best way to help me would be to tip me. I need do that, that just money. I really do. I need that money. Any on-demand video bills. on YouTube, and there should be the tips link that you can send me a tip. Okay. Okay. <sighs> oh no, right. you didn't! I got you past that bullshit segment. Piece of I didn't want to do it. Up. I really didn't want to fucking do it, but I got past. Mark it. my okay. fucking words. Let's talk about the streams today. Today it's I'm Elden Ring for you. here on the first stream. I'm, gonna find I'm doing a dual wielding you great axe build. You okay? just, just built it. You. But sadly, I, I put fuck. an Ash of War on one of them. It doesn't Let even do anything. Notice. Live I put an Ash of War that says, "Oh, it boosts your next attack." I attack and it does the same damage. So I don't know if it's not working for dual wielding. Maybe that's Hogan's the deal. Maybe dead. these Ashes of War don't work for dual wielding. Maybe they only work if you're single wielding a weapon, in which case, what's the point? So if that's the case, maybe what I need to do is use a different Ash of War that is a, Are you an a attack instead. Retard? I have to you know, ask. like an area of effect attack or something like that. So we're going to mess around with this today, okay? Um, and we're in a whole new area. We're in the northeast part of the map, the mountain, which I guess is supposed to be the Mountain of Giants. I don't know what we're going to go up against shut up here. We dude pretty much just arrived and only explored for maybe like 20 minutes, 30 minutes. Um, got to a new bonfire. We got more. I say bonfire. It's a point of grace. We got more to uh, look around and find and discover, and we're going to do it together. It's going to be a fun it's stream of discovery Kevin's fault. today. Now, of course, all right, whenever this happens and I get to a new area, immediately it's I get contacted by people. You missed this and you missed that and you missed this. I'm like, oh ah, you. I do appreciate oh no. that, by the way. Because like I said, I'm only doing one run of Elden There's Ring. Unlike a lot of other content on the internet, literally you're doing five, six, whatever the fuck back this to back, name various is. different levels of exploration and builds and things. I'm not doing that, okay? I'm trying. <laughs> Thanks for the money, to do stupid fuck. One run you that covers rolls. most of the meaningful Greg content. Grog just said that Grog can't take cat dry hop. All right, it's a My daunting son task. Needs let food. me tell you, Jasper and cat crying. So, the gold mask. And I found the guy standing on a bridge pointing to the earth tree like this, like an asshole, but he wouldn't talk. So I guess what I need to do is I need to find another NPC, and then that triggers the quest line, and then I can do a bunch of interactions all over the map with these two guys. Um, I don't know what it leads to besides are. another ending. I think I've already unlocked the Ronnie ending. I've unlocked the 
Fia ending, and I've unlocked the evil, chaotic fingers ending because I have that mark on me now, right? The mark of chaos or whatever it is. So I have uh, three endings already unlocked with the possibility of more if I do more quest lines. Do I want to do them? Yes, but I don't know if I want to do it today. I just got to a new area, right? I literally just arrived. I want to explore and do new stuff. I don't really feel like going back Thanks to fucking Thanks to Jubbity Bubbity for joining the Hate Army. Day. Especially now that I have a new build that I kind of want to work on. I don't think I want to really be dicking around um, with NPCs today. Okay? So let's see what happens. But I'm aware that that was one of the plots. All if right? I get down on my hands um, and knees and say thank you and still be Now, I camera, also believe... I would do it. There was something else, too. Oh, God. What was it? <laughs> There's so the much money, this stupid game. It's so convoluted. He totally and didn't spend any of his BD money on WWE. What was the other thing? There was another L thing, and now I'm L now it's actually I'm L having a brain fart. About L L L L L L pussy. L L L L L L L. Are you serious? Did this guy just seriously just say that in my fucking stream chat? I can't believe this. I seriously can't believe this fucking guy. What he just said. What do I do? I'm sorry. Tiger, tiger, I'm sorry because it does get to me when I see dumb shit like that. Give me a minute. <laughs> Give me a minute so I don't I don't enrage myself here and destroy the mic. There's two optional out areas in the mountains for which I can go to. That sounds interesting. I like the optional areas of the game, as long as they're kind of like legacy dungeons. Um, I like the, as you know, I really like the legacy dungeons in the game. They're actually my favorite part, and I think that they're some of the best, well, uh, most well-designed dungeons FromSoft has ever done. That's why I'm kind of really mixed. I have a really torn and mixed opinion about Elden Ring, because on the one hand, the legacy dungeon shit is outstanding. When you fight a unique boss... I love it. And then there's the open world stuff that at first was good, and now it's just so boring. It's the same enemies, the same shit over and over. You see? <sighs> okay. I'm, I'm calming down now, because I was almost very upset. Okay. Alright. <clears throat> anyway. So, yeah. Elden Ring today. I'm excited. I'm curious to see how this pans out with the new build. I don't know if it'll be any better than what I was doing or any worse. It could be worse, but for me, here's the thing. I'm only doing one run of Elden Ring. We all know this. I'm not, I might go back at a later date and play it again. And I've already told you guys, if I'm interested in doing that, maybe I'll go with like a magic build or something like that, something that's very different from what I've done during this first run, right? But that being said, I'm trying to do as much as I possibly can and make this one run that I'm doing as interesting as possible. That means no summons, because if I summon, that's kind of a big crutch to try to beat enemies and bosses, and I feel that I'm good enough at the FromSoft games that I don't need that crutch. And I've been trying to mix up my weapons and builds a lot. If you haven't noticed, I've used many different weapons and builds over the course of the game, and admittedly, when I start to feel like I'm using something too much, like the Tree Spear, or earlier it was the Magma Worm Sword, then I say, okay, let's switch it up again. And that's what I'm trying to do right now for variety's sake for you guys, okay? So I hope that the playthrough is remaining entertaining for you. All right, I'm doing my best, you know, with the game this long and this much content that's kind of repetitive, I'm doing my absolute best, okay? Okay. <clears throat> All right. So there you go, my friends. That's what we're doing today. Um in Elden Ring anyway. Later tonight, the late stream. Skyrim After Hours, a late night stream of Skyrim Anniversary Edition. We're going to be doing the Dark Brotherhood stuff. All right? Dark Brotherhood Started the quest line last time. You guys seem to really like that idea. I actually got a bunch of comments on the video like, yeah, he's starting Dark Brotherhood. Finally, I love this quest line. So that should be fun, chill, okay. fun tonight. 6.45 p.m. Pacific time. All right? All right. Tomorrow, my day off. I won't be here. I wish I would be doing fun stuff all day. I'll half the day at least be doing boring errands and shit. That's expensive <laughs> bullshit. But I got to do it because I'm an adult. All right? I'll be back on Wednesday. More LEGO Star Wars. Where we're going to finish up Empire Strikes Back and head into the Return of the Jedi.
And said, Phil, you're being the forgotten land of the late stream. But it always seems you like it's here a black last hole. night. You didn't see because it always yet. seems like no matter how much it's you like a whole new game. You're always still having content of Kirby is still actually very challenging. The bosses are I agree with you. Like I'm not kidding. Like from soft level tough bosses. I I beat the boss with this much health. And it was after like death defying dodges to do it. It was pretty crazy. Um, and I'm excited for more. Apparently, I'm gonna need about two more streams to see all the post game content. It's that challenging and fun. So I hope that you guys will uh will be here on Wednesday night for the continuation of Kirby Endgame. All right. So then Thursday will be more Elden Ring fun. and Skyrim. Uh, and what we're gonna do is alternate between Lego and Skyrim for the main streams. The night streams will be Kirby and Skyrim. Wait a minute. Let's try this again. The main streams will be Lego and Elden Ring. The night streams will be Kirby and Skyrim. Is that what I said? I don't know if that's what I said. Then on Friday night, there will be more Street Fighter Friday Night Fights. And essentially, we're going to keep doing it with this uh, this schedule until we beat Kirby, which is probably going to be over this weekend. Okay? And once Kirby is completed, then I'm going to switch to something new. We've already talked about this the last couple of weeks. It likely will be a chill stream style deal where you guys will help me pick what to do. But I'm strongly leaning towards doing um, these games that I've already started on Game Pass and maybe alternating between them. So maybe one night we do I Am Fish for two hours. And then another night we do Serious Sam 4 for two hours. And then another night One Piece Pirate Warriors 4 for two hours. You see? And by alternating, maybe within a couple of weeks we can actually get good progress in some of these games. It would be good variety, I feel, too. Now, when I finish Elden Ring, which I'm not sure how long it'll take. I mean, I, I, apparently I am now in the final third of the game, considered the end game of the game. All right. Maybe it'll take me another two weeks, whatever. When I finish Elden Ring, I can tell you right now, my priority is WWE 2K22 because that's the game that you guys have been asking for for the longest time. And it seems like a lot of people want to see it. I'm very skeptical. And here's why. I almost guarantee I know what's going to happen. First stream, everyone will be hype. Second stream, I, I start my it. career mode. Okay. I Third, fourth stream. It. Boring. This happens every time I play WWE. Initially, it's what, exciting. What do I do? You get to see me try out, you know, different wrestlers. The showcase mode is usually interesting with his matchup. Oh. And my career is interesting. You see me create my wrestler. I'm building him. Within two streets, like, oh, it's the same grindy matches over and over. There's no story to this. This is campy. This is shitty. Meh, meh, meh. And then people hate it. So I don't understand why there's been so much monstrous demand for me to play WWE this year when I exactly know how it goes whenever I play a WWE game. By the way, I don't mind. I like the WWE game, but that's kind of why I've been kind of holding off on starting it up. Um, but I will tell you this, blah, yes, blah, when Elden Ring completes, blah, 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 it's going to be WWE that's going to have been asking pretty much nonstop, okay? Fair enough? All right. Jade, good to see you here. You never have to apologize about not contributing. Never. Please, don't even do it. Because you're one of the most nicest, positive people that comes to the streams. You never have to now make an apology to me about anything. Okay. All right. That's the schedule. We got it out of the way. By the way, Ask PayPal. the King is returning. Not this week, <laughs> but next week. Okay? So it will actually be, let me get the actual date, the 21st of April. Ask the King returns. All right? Just so everybody knows, that's the deal. Ask the King is coming back this month. So post up your questions. Type exclamation point Ask the King into the stream chat. It'll bring up the link to my website, dspgaming.com. Post up your questions. <clears throat> and it's finally coming back. I know it's been quite some time since we did Ask the King. Christmas. Yeah. That was the last episode. So we're going to do a full one. All right? Cool. All right. Um... All right, outside of that, shout-outs time. So let's start with the YouTube side shout-outs. It's rising to a toxicity. Zoe under the Super Chat says, what's your plan for 2022 with so few Super League game releases? Well, first of all, you say that, but that's not the case. Banned, what banned, happened is we banned, haven't had any banned, announcements banned. yet. <clears throat> Gone. Remember, Forever. E3 just got canceled. I don't think E3 is ever going to happen again, if you want my honest opinion. I think it's dead in the water. Okay, or if it does come back... It's going to be an in-person fan fest. It's never going to be, going to be an asshole. The big You're going to be treated like PR an asshole. You're going to be shown the door. Before. It's just going to be another convention like a PAX. Okay? You're but not anyway. welcome on my stream. <clears throat> I think over the next month to two months, we're going to start to see tons of these digital presentations 
that will announce all the big games for this year. The thing is, they're really, it's, it's a little chaotic. Game companies have to get their stuff together and di figure out their schedule. How do they want to do their own events online to announce their stuff? And it's a little chaotic, but I think what'll happen is they'll eventually get into a swing of things. Of snort, how to do it. Snort. But I definitely feel that there's going to be a uh, big announcement soon. So even though right now you look at the schedule on paper, you're like, geez, like what? We got God of War. We don't even know when it's coming out, but God of War is coming out. We know there's a new Modern Warfare coming out later this year. Like you're looking at the schedule, like there's like nothing, right? But the truth is, there what, is. What you we just about? don't have any of the dates yet because none of them have been announced because we didn't have any event yet. So I think we're going to get our answers soon, okay? So am I worried? No. The bottom line is I have so much shit that I can be doing and playing. There's things that people are asking about. I would love to do some retro stuff this year if possible, if we have the time. I have more than enough stuff to get me through 2022, even if there's not giant AAA releases. It's release. been pretty slow. Seriously. Not going to lie. That's the beauty of being a variety streamer, not relying on a certain type of game or a certain style of release. I can play a ton of different stuff, and my viewing audience comes back, and I appreciate that. Looks okay. like someone had too so much chili another super chat saying, I, I grew up poor. I know how hard it is to stay strong. And that's the other thing, too. Like, am I destitute? No. I'm not destitute, but I work my ass off to stay that way. You know what I mean? If I was not here six days a week streaming, yeah, I'd be way worse off. And it actually hurts when people say to me, why don't you just take another day off to be with your wife today? I'm like, don't you think I want to? Really, don't you think I want to? Of course I want to. I can't. You know? <clears throat> um, Bo Borosium24, what a name. Did a super chat saying, will I apply for Twitch partnership again? Fuck no. I've already explained this a million times. Allow me to summarize. If someone in life treats you incredibly poorly, literally breaks the law, because yes, when you terminate a legal agreement, Without any actual legal justification for doing so, you just say, oh, so you did something wrong. Well, what did I do wrong? Well, we did an investigation. You did something wrong. What did I do wrong? Provide the evidence to corroborate what you're saying, and then they basically ghost you. That's illegal. You can't just terminate a legal agreement without evidence that someone violated the agreement to lose the agreement. It's not legal. And Twitch did this with a ton of people over the last one to two years. Dr. Disrespect was the big tipping of the iceberg, and they continued to do it with many other streamers, which is bullshit. You can't do it, all right? Why, in my right mind, would I go back to said business to try to partner with them again? You'd have to be a fucking lame brain idiot. At any moment, they will break the law and kick you to the curb for no good reason. Why would you go back and put yourself into another position where you now have your business back there, you're relying on them not doing that? That's insanity. I'd be a complete asshole. <clears throat> Maybe that's why you guys think I should go back, because you think I'm a complete asshole. Well, the joke's on you. I'm not. I'm not going back to them. I'm not stupid, okay? Okay. Thank you for the, the super chat and the really silly question. <laughs> oi, oi, oi. <clears throat> Okay. It has nothing to do with... Oh, my God. Some people... Oh, you're going to do it to me again. Oh, it has to do with your pride. Swallow your pride. My pride, it's my business, not my pride. I can't operate a business on a pro platform where they literally don't feel like they have to abide oh, by the yeah, law. Yeah, 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 At any yeah, moment, yeah, they'll yeah, say, yeah, fuck yeah, you, yeah, cut the cord, and screw your entire livelihood over. You guys have no idea. No, you Why really don't. You have no idea how bad it hurt me last year. I was making plans to not only improve the business, but to finally I was going to go on a honeymoon with my wife. <laughs> deserve. There's things here that we wanted to improve at the house. We had all these plans. We're like, look what I'm making now. Now, like you know, basically we were at the light at the end of the tunnel. All I need to do is maintain what I'm doing, and we're good. And then it crashed because of them, because they just decided on a whim to punish me for absolutely nothing. It was a sweeping change they decided to do on their side of the business where they wanted to kick out partners who they felt were problematic. Anyone who over the years had said something that they determined was 
cancelable or had a following that was a toxic following that could be thrown against them in a negative light. They were trying to basically kind of rebrand it, which is hilarious because at the same time, they were getting monstrous negative press for having all the fucking cam girls and shit sitting in hot tubs and doing dumb shit. And they did nothing about that, but they kicked me and Wings and Dr. Disrespect off their fucking site, right? What a bunch of fucking double, double dealing idiots. But anyway, yeah, you guys just don't know. You're just, you you know, I was in a good position and things were getting good. We were making plans and all those plans gone out the window. Back to square one. And that's exactly what happened. I'm back to square one. It's not a good feeling, man. After 14 years, it's not a good feeling to work your ass off and be back to square one because a company screwed you. That's why I'm not going back. It has nothing to do with fucking pride. I'd be setting myself up for another disaster and another disaster and another disaster. <laughs> and I'm not going <laughs> to do that. I'm just not doing it. Okay, let's get to the YouTube side. Well, excuse me. Let's get to tips and shout outs for tips. Okay. Oh. First of all, shout out to Emil H who tipped a $50 tip. Super duper appreciative of that. He's very generous. And he says, hello, Phil, let's get your tips going today. Thank you, Emil. And with that, that means Gunner Glasses. Look how dumb awesome. they are. Thank you. Let's get those on. The Ziggy Piggy's back. Thank you, Jay. It's his happy anniversary. Yes. Like I if said, I, I was, I was streaming yesterday. Thank you and still be on camera. And I only realized I it was it. my our anniversary here because someone said it in the chat. And then I went to Kat and I said, you realize it is our anniversary? And she looked at me and she's like, this oh my miserable. God. Yeah. out and busy as shit and every you know uh I live thank you email. Free appreciate that heads, 24 trill1817 also tipped me 50 dollars and says here you go bro thank you to trill1 the second in a row 50 dollar tip i appreciate that trill1 that gets us up to 100 which means you guys now get to vote on a hat for today so let's get the hat poll going okay So we'll do Cowboy, we will do the real life Dumas helmet, we'll do Pilot, and we'll do fake hair. I haven't had the fake hair in a long time. There we go. Thank you very much. Uh, let's see here. My nose itches. Ah. Nico did a $2 tip. He says, you know, there's so many bad people in the world that really deserve hate. I don't understand why trolls focus so much on you and not on them. It's crazy. Because I've already explained this. So now I can actually formulate an intelligent thought about it. All right. Here's what's happened with me. In a nutshell, again, I don't want to go through my whole history. Back in the day, I was a problematic content creator. But no one saw it that way because times were different 10 years ago, 12 years ago. I basically did things that were over the top and ridiculous for shock value content on YouTube. Okay. Sexual content. You know, saying real sexualized things during every playthrough. Uh, general kind of, uh, not necessarily, how can I say it? Generalized racial humor. There you go. It wasn't me trying to be racist. I basically made fun of absolutely every race possible. But now, in the modern era, people look at that and say, oh, he's racist, you see? So I did all these things. And then, yes, I did make big mistakes back then, too, which I've fessed up to and apologized for many times over the years. I love Eventually, Hogan's people dance. felt that me being kind of a more negative attitude on the internet meant that I didn't deserve success. So Ugh, I started I taking all of my gameplay and editing so, so it in a way to take out any moments of good gameplay or actual, like, lightheartedness or fun, and instead made it look like the entire time I played a game, I was being toxic and negative, and they called it, this is how you don't play. So essentially, they made me look terrible. Now, I reacted badly to those videos, they went viral, and eventually what happened was it became a meme on the internet to say, Dark Side Phil is the worst gamer possible, he doesn't deserve success, he's a bad human. Okay, it just extrapolated over and over, worse and worse over the year. Became this viral meme to hate on Dark Side Phil on the internet. All right, there's other people also that this happened to, but I'm one of them. So now in the modern day, I change. Right, I'm not the same person today that I was back then. I don't make those jokes. I don't do that kind of commentary. I don't even do that kind of content anymore. I'm an interactive streamer. The gameplay I do today is dramatically different from what I used to do back in the day. We have fun conversation, meaningful interactions. Um, 
People tell me today that watching my content puts a smile on their face and cheers them up at a time when maybe they were full of toxicity or, or, or hatred or whatever. Um, you know what I'm saying? Uh, all that crap. In the past, it's all in the past now. I'm, I'm a more, way more positive guy. I've ch I definitely, getting older, have matured and realized the things that I did in the past were really stupid, especially in a modern context when a lot of people can be hurt by actions and things that you say and do on the internet, whether or not you intend it or not. You got to be more responsible with what you do. And now I try to be more responsible with what I do. Okay, I really do feel that I've changed. That being said, be people don't want to let go of the me. Playing, to and them, with me. DSP at one point in his life was hate deserving, so he's hate deserving forever. So even if he's not doing something on stream today that's deserving of hate, make something up, spin something fake, make up a controversial thing, make up a conspiracy theory, and literally that's become my existence on the internet now is there's two different sides to fill. There's me on stream, putting out fun gameplay content, interactions, having a good time with you guys, and then there's the drama over here outside of my streams, this entire memeing community of fucking morons who literally just talk shit every day and has absolutely nothing factually to do with what I do on a daily basis. But they still exist because they insanely make this virally this popular crap outside of me. And I can't control that because it's not me. The only thing I can do is sue them into oblivion, which I can't do because I'm not rich. So I ignore it, right? That's what's going on. That's why, Nico... That group exists. You go over there for 10 minutes reading their nonsense. I don't have money to do it. 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 They get views. They make money. It's an entire business to meme and make fun of Dark Side Film. That's how fucked up it's become. And again, there's nothing I can do about it. YouTube has no protections against it. Swagnito, Swagonito, dude! I always read your name as Swagnito. Oh no, someone's illegal. Swagonito. Oh no. Give me twenty dollars, and he says, "Greetings, Phil. It's National Pet Day. I didn't even know that. Make sure to tell Jasper we love him. Hopefully, things will get better for you. Thank you. And I will tell Jasper that everyone loves him. I know you guys love Jasper. You like to see him on the streams. Oh, thank you for the support. We're man. soulmates. Geodudism tip ten dollars. Thank you, Geodudism, for a ten dollar tip. Thank you all so much. Uh, Leo tip me a dollar fifty. He says. I think the reason so many people want to see you play WWE this year, this this year it's apparently a meme game. Big YouTubers and streamers are playing it despite it being no different. It's a fad game now, so now people want to see me play. I didn't even hear about this. I literally didn't even know that the game had any more popularity. Seriously. I So that's a first. That's absolutely a first. Um <laughs> Thanks so, for the money, stupid oh, fuck. Like crazy. Use these um, Brazilian dollar to maybe, pay for maybe a you're right. DDM. And like I said, I'm getting to it eventually. I th it's definitely the next thing in on the horizon, the next thing in the queue once Elden Ring is done. Okay. Uh, Iron Shock tipped a dollar fifty. Listen to this. He says, "I thought you said in the past Doctor Disrespect deserved to be kicked off of Twitch due to his actions, his bathroom stuff, etc." So before we even get to the second half of his question, you're addressing something that happened several years ago, before Doctor Disrespect was kicked off of Twitch, where he broke the law. He literally walked into a bathroom, a public bathroom, at E3, which is supposed to be an area that's protected privacy. You can't just walk into a bathroom and film. It's against the law. He actively chose to break the law for shock value content, okay? At that time, I rightfully criticized him and said, guess what? He broke the law. He should be punished for it, whether it means he gets banned from Twitch or, or arrested. Whatever it is, he should be punished. He shouldn't be above the law because he's a popular streamer. That's ridiculous. That's what I said back then, okay? You're now taking that into consideration with now. Oh, didn't you say that in the past? Yes, several years ago. That has absolutely nothing to do with what Twitch has done since then, which is like the last two years. Okay, let's continue with this question now. Things in terms of Twitch kicking him off problematic people? Yes, won. He won the lawsuit against Twitch. He proved he was wrongfully terminated from his contract, and he got a payout for it. Had nothing to do with what you're talking about. You're taking a situation from years ago and trying to act like it has anything to do with a modern situation. It doesn't. You're wrong. Thanks for the tip. Okay. It's, so, it's just so silly that people think that, again, time is like 
if one thing happened, that's endless forever. Because something happened in the past, that applies to today. No, it doesn't. What Dr. Disrespect did two, three years ago that got him in trouble doesn't apply to why he got kicked off of Twitch a year later. What are you talking about? But they are, everything's black and white to these people. Hmm. Okay. Um, let's see here. Rabbit Couch Super Ch uh, Super Chase says, can you justify not streaming on both platforms? Yes, I can. Um, if you stream on both platforms, you cannot be a partner on both. You can only be a partner on one or the other. If you act actually, the truth of the matter is thus. If you're a partner on Twitch, they don't want you to stream anywhere. I was outright told that when I was a partner on Twitch, when I had a partner manager, that partner manager said to me, if you stream anywhere else, you're at risk of losing your partnership with us. We could terminate it whenever we want. Which I told him, no, that's not true. That's illegal. And he argued with me. And I said, I don't care what you say as my partner manager. You're wrong. I know my rights. I can stream wherever I want. I just can't monetize somewhere else. And he was actually saying, well, just so you know, we see it in a very negative light if you stream somewhere else and you're in a partnership with us. And I was like, whatever you say, dude, because he's just a fucking idiot figurehead anyway trying to spew out bullshit to me. I never told you guys this, but yeah, this guy who was my partner manager used to say shit like that all the time and make threats to me behind the scenes. And I kind of laughed it off. Like, this guy legally thinks he could just, la you know, threaten me all the time and say this and that. And it was all bullshit. But anyway, they really don't want you to be streaming anywhere else if you're a partner on Twitch at all. So if I became a partner on Twitch again, I would have to not stream anywhere else at, or else they might just terminate my partnership again, okay? Now, if I don't reapply for partnership on Twitch and I just do regular streaming there, but I stayed here on YouTube and I stayed part of the partner program here, that's possible. But I've answered this question until I was blue in the face. Let me try it again. When you stream at two separate places, you are diversifying your audience. You're separating them. You're going to have a Twitch audience and you're going to have a YouTube audience. Now, what do I need a Twitch audience for? When I'm trying to grow my YouTube business, right? It'll be great to have people watching me on Twitch, but they can't super chat, or excuse me, they can't cheer, they can't become a subscriber. All they can do is tip. And yeah, maybe every once in a while I get a few tips from the Twitch audience, but that's not a focus. I need to focus on the business where I can actually grow a business, which is YouTube right now, because I can actually be part of that partner program. <laughs> Thanks in for addition, the money, stupid if fuck. If you were to stream Use this studio on two separate job. places, Hold your leg. okay? You need now you need Hold to have... Leg. Two Cold entire Cold separate Cold situations Cold when it comes Cold to moderation, Cold when it comes to running Cold channels, Cold you're doubling Cold your workload. Cold I would have to Cold have people moderating on YouTube at the same time as I have a separate group of people moderating my stream chat on Twitch. And before you say, no, you don't, yes, you do. You are responsible for what happens on your channel, period. That's their feeling, both on Twitch and YouTube. You're responsible for basically keeping your channel clean, okay? There's been people who have had repeated hate raids and things happen to them, and they're like, I can't control it, and they got suspended. Because they're like, well, what's your job? You should have you should have taken care of that. Why didn't you? Okay? You have to keep it clean. I don't want to have two versions of my stream where YouTube is great and it's clean and all my viewers are having a good time, and you go to Twitch and because I don't have the means to do it, now Twitch is toxic and all the haters go there to shit on my Twitch stream and be nasty, and I can't do anything about it. You're literally taking something here, Okay? Oh no, someone's a And you're separating it. Oh no. Into two. That's not what you want to do when you run a business. Is there something that's called diversification? Yes. So, for example, I'm a gameplay streamer, but I want to diversify, so I do a podcast. And over time, you're going to see that I'm likely going to do more shows, which are about talking about different topics and interacting with you guys than just raw gameplay. I feel that there's value there. Over the years, I've been doing many series like this that have been successful. I used to do a wrestling commentary show. I've done DSP Take tries, I've done cooking shows, I've done just unboxing games. I've done so many series that wasn't gameplay that were successful. I know I can diversify my content and be different than just gameplay, gameplay, gameplay. Blah, 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 right? blah, 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 my business is here on YouTube. Blah, 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 it makes blah, blah, zero blah, sense business-wise to pull my audience in two different directions and say, some of you watch over here, some of you watch over there. Here I can make money, here I can't. Here I'll moderate my chat, here I can't. What, what are you talking about? It doesn't make any fucking sense at all. None of that makes any sense. It's actually nonsense. What it is, is there's still a group of people a year later. I need th that money. I really don't do. like I need that money. They Pay don't want to watch streams on YouTube. They're so dead set that YouTube sucks. They don't want to be here. They want me to go back to Twitch. It ain't happening. I'm not going so back shut up to this the dude business that abused me, broke the law, and fucked me over financially and everything else. It's a waste of time. Stop fucking asking me. In fact, from now on, every time someone asks me if I'm going to go back to Twitch, here's how I'm going to. 
Grab some salt. You were Wings has it worse? I wouldn't know because I know nothing about Wings of Redemption's actual <laughs> Zoya did a super test saying, in hindsight, should I have listened to my partner manager? You don't even want to know half the shit my partner manager said to me back in the day. <laughs> the dumb the dumb nonsense that came out of his fucking mouth. Threats. Uh, there was one point, all right? There was one point where he told me, I'm not even exaggerating, listen to this. What, what do I do? Three months after something had happened... He told me that it was something that I did wrong and I had been punished for it behind the scenes, but I didn't know. I was like, what are you talking about? He's like, yeah, something happened on your stream that we didn't agree with. Here it is. And by the way, that was your first strike. And I was like, you didn't even tell me. Yeah. You never contacted me and you never told me. So I did something wrong, but you took no corrective action to let me know I did something wrong so that I would never do it again. And now you're you're punishing me for it three months later because something else happened that you feel is wrong and you're counting that as my second strike instead of my first strike. And he goes, yes. And I said, so here's the deal. That's a violation of our legal agreement, all right? And I don't like that. And I think that you need to fix this for me. And he refused. And I was basically like, so here's the deal. You at any time can change the rules, but I can't, right? So what? how is this a, a one-sided legal agreement? What you're saying to me doesn't make any sense. And basically what it is is the people who they hired for their partner managers were not legal representatives. They didn't even understand the contracts. They were just told to bullshit the people into doing what they wanted. It, it, I hate to say it, but the whole Twitch partner program is essentially a just we'll pay you money while we feel you're doing good, but the moment that we don't like you, we'll just do whatever we want and we'll try to hide behind the guise of legality when in reality we don't even abide by our own rules. So this one person gets multiple chances. Another person just gets kicked off immediately. You tell me this is strike two, but never notified me of strike one. How, how is this any kind of a professional system? And the answer is it's not. Twitch is not professional. They are just not. They're not professional with the shit that they do. The things that they, the opportunities they give to certain people is completely unfair compared to others. And it's not a fair playing field over there. quality they want they get all the opportunities remember when they kicked me out of Tch. the sponsored stream program because of trolling how did i create that situation i didn't make the trolls go to the social media and the discord server of the game makers and and control them i didn't do that but i was the one who was punished for it and they didn't want to deal with it they're like, oh well well you're out of the program <laughs> and then they lied to me they had the audacity to tell me they didn't blacklist me from that sponsored streaming program Oh, there's just no opportunities going on this month. Well, I was blacklisted for a year and a half. So you're telling me no one got a sponsored stream in a year and a half? Yeah, okay. That's how they are. They're completely 100% oh, two-faced liars. They do whatever they want and get away with it. Legally, they can't. And when people get sued them, they're going to win. That's why Dr. Disrespect won a big settlement with them. Because they can't just keep doing that. But they're basically doing whatever they want and getting away with it. Why the fuck would I want to go back to that site and deal with those people ever again? Seriously. <clears throat> oh, let's see here. Leo tipped me a dollar fifty. Says it's like the same game as every other WWE 2K game. But yeah, big streamers like Critical played it this year. Now all of a sudden, everyone wants to play it or see other streamers play it. It shows the influence of hype. Not surprised, man. Seriously, not surprised to hear that. Hype is a hell of a drug. Let's put it that way. <clears throat> <clears throat> okay. Okay. All right, so I think we actually finally got through all the different various uh, shout-outs. <clears throat> and... It looks like the pilot hat won for today, which is fine. I haven't worn this in a very long time, actually. <laughs> pilot hat for today. <laughs> pilot our way through the mountains. Elden Ring. <clears throat> All right, we got a few minutes left. If anyone has any other questions, and by the way, since now it's an hour and a half later, allow me to reiterate something different from today. Ladies and gentlemen, today we are doing ultra low latency streaming here on YouTube. What that means 
is that there is the least amount of delay between when I'm streaming and you see it and can react to it. So like literally it's five seconds of delay. We tested it earlier. That's amazing. It means that only five seconds, you guys can see something happen in a game and immediately tell me something to help. And I get it right away as opposed to usually it's like 20, 30 seconds. It's way low. So we're going to test this today and we're going to see what happens and if it actually helps. Uh, and we're actually trying to see differences. If you guys are noticing a difference in quality, let me know. Someone has said basically that there's no more subtitles. That sucks. For those who are relied on the post captioning of my stream, the fact that that went away, I feel bad. I didn't know that. That might be a huge detriment. I'm curious to see how many people actually actually because that's a big problem. I mean, I won't do that. Okay. I guess we'll have to see. Okay. All right. So I just got a super chat from Kevin. Thank you. He said, happy birthday. You're, you're way late. And obviously the joke is, uh, it's a running joke now. He's just going to keep saying happy birthday. The exact same thing with Merry Christmas. Thank you, Kevin. Okay. Eternal says, how do I respond to the rumor that I'm actually a famous opera singer Luciano Pavarotti after being kind of to death? I can't respond because that would blow my cover. King Kane says, will King of Fighters 15 ever return? I'm asking oh, since no. there's a big update oh, no. coming up. No, no. I have no, no desire to play it. Number one, the online oh, play is abysmally shit. bad at this point. Most people are saying if you can even find someone, it's all the tryhards left playing and literally the gameplay is get one hit, 50% combo. Oh, look, mix you up. Get one hit, 70% combo. Round over. Garbage game. Sorry. I tried it. I actually liked the visual design. At first, I was digging it. As soon as I saw what they made the game online, Why are I hated you it. I don't want to play it ever again. If you don't agree, well, because out of all the people, have I'm the most evidence that I bought it. I only played it like three sessions, and I was like, this game's a piece of dog else, shit. It sucks that they ruined the game like that, and they did, but it is what it is. It's not coming back. Allie Corny said, did I ever play the Chrono games? I should check out the remake. Oh, I played Chrono Trigger. I never played anything after that. But Chrono Trigger is the best one, in my opinion. I love it. Pinocchio says, Capcom 30th anniversary is coming out next month. Are you hyped? What do you mean by that? Capcom 30th anniversary? Well, Capcom's been, a lot, uh, been around a lot longer than 30 years. I'm not sure what you mean. Go, 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 go. Clarify go. on Fatty, that. Fat, I, fat, I, I'll talk more about it. I'm a little confused. Fan of Lovecraft says, would I consider replaying Mass Payne 1 and 2 when the reboots come out? When the reboots come out, maybe. Yes. We'll see. We'll see if there's interest in it, in it or not. So far, I've only played one. I never played two. Pinocchio says he means the new Street Fighter collection. Oh, so the Street Fighter collection is called the Capcom Fighting Collection. It comes out June 24th. So we still got about two and a half months to wait. I am excited for it. I hope it's good. I mean, I, I would be hard-pressed to feel it's going to be worse the Street Fighter 30th Anniversary Collection. I mean, unless they really fuck it up. I don't know how it possibly could be. <laughs> um, but it is what it is. Hopefully it's good. And yes, I'm excited for Hyper Street Fighter 2 and Darkstalker in that collection. Would I consider playing Red Dead Redemption 2 again? I don't see the point. Red Dead Redemption 2 is a highly narrative game. Most of the enjoyment of the game comes out of the narrative. In fact, I would even say that the gameplay takes a major backseat to the narrative. And actually, I feel if it was a movie or, or more of a choose-your-own-adventure game, it might actually have been better than the game it was because I didn't like the gameplay of the game. I thought it was too watered down and just wasn't very challenging or interesting, to be honest. Um, I've already seen the game from start to finish once. I don't see what advantage I'd have playing it again. I don't think it's going to be any different than the first run, quite frankly. Maybe in 10 years if I've completely forgotten the plot then, but that's kind of a one-and-done deal for me. Brody says, do you manage to kill the Mind Goblin in the catacombs at Kalid? I have no idea what you're talking about. What is a Mind Goblin? I definitely did most of the stuff at Kalid. I don't know what the hell a Mind Goblin is, though. Eternal, no, I would what, never what do, do a podcast do? arguing with trolls because as I've proven over the years, all right, the way that those trolls get any kind of positivity is through attention. All right. Any time that they're given specific what, what attention, you give one of their names, specifically address one of their arguments, you're bringing attention to them. People will go check out their garbage content. All right. That's it's the Kevin's fault. What's intended. The more that you can basically ignore them, the better. Okay. So for me, I look at that situation and I say, if I bring anything up like that, if I entertain having one of them on my podcast to talk directly, 
Number one, it's That's already counterproductive. Fault. Okay. Number two, these people have no intention of actually proving anything. All they want to do is cause oh, drama to bring more oh, people cool. to their channel. So, literally, I could sit there and they could say something wrong. And I could say, okay, well, I can prove that's wrong and here's how. Well, here's evidence. Boom, boom, boom. Oh, well, guess what? Here comes the next thing. All right, well, wait. What about... No, wait. Here's the next thing. Here's the next thing. It's called moving the goalpost. Where these people don't care about the truth of the matter. They don't actually want me to justify anything. Or not justify, but prove what they say is wrong. They just want to keep saying wrong things to create drama so people will watch their content. They do not give two fucks if it's true. They don't. They just want people to keep watching their shit and clicking and giving them money. and it, That's all they care about. So there's no point. Arguing with, with a troll, you know, it's, it's, like, it's like I said, it's like the, 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 the many-headed hydra. You cut off one head and two more grow in its place because the goalpost keeps getting moved. The next nonsensical conspiracy comes out to the point where why waste your time? Just do your own thing and ignore their bullshit. Okay. Did I ever go by, back and fight the boss in the Rot Lake? That I did not do, and that likely I could do now and probably steamroll much later. But I did not go back to that boss, no. Who do I think is harder, Godric or Ornstein and Smo? Godric is a piss-easy boss. He is so easy. Ornstein oh, no, and Smo so like are legit streaming pump because there's oh, two no. on one. So... The patriarchy just took me $15, and he says, which vest is Elden best? It's a great question that I guess we're going to get our answer to. Because with that tip, we did hit the tips goal for today, guys. And I do appreciate that. Yes, this absolutely will help me for my day off tomorrow now. I really appreciate you guys helping you me. And any further retard? tips today to would just help even more tomorrow. Okay? So thank you so much, and thank you in advance to anyone else who, over the course of today's stream, does contribute. If I could get down on my hands Let's and knees and say thank you and still be on camera, What's up, Guts? Good it. to see you here today. How you doing, man? Let's do red vest. Let's do gold vest. We haven't done that one in a while. Blue. Blue would go with the hat. And how about gray? We haven't done the gray vest in a bajillion years. So there you go. Some oddball choices for you guys. Okay. All right. Any other final questions before we get started? Because I'd like to get started. And by the way, I'm going to experiment again with this Ash of War. I don't know if it's working. I don't think it is. If it's not working, we're going to do an Ability Ash of War instead. But let's mess around a bit. <clears throat> Where's Plat? We want Plat. No Plat today. Plat is too... Plat has literally do Platinum Vest has become plebeian. Game? Like, we do it so often, it's not important or special. I'd rather do something different, you know? Tiger, tiger, row, 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 Are the glasses tiger, actually made for any eye condition? They're made to reduce uh, eye strain by blocking blue light, is it? I think that's what it's supposed to be, that if you stare at a computer screen or a, a television for an extended period of time, that your eyes can, can get eye strain because of blue light, and I think because of the yellow filter, it filters out the blue light. I think that's how gunner glasses work. But do they actually do anything else? No. Do I think Hogwarts Legacy would be good? I hope so. It looks good to me. I'm interested in it. Darzyx says, The Ash of War gives a small time buff and works only for one hit. Yeah, but I tried it, and I swear to God it was the same damage output. Here's what we need to do. We have to directly test it. I will do an attack, a regular two-handed attack. Okay? Then see the damage. We'll count it. Do the Ash of War, do the same attack, and see if it's exactly the same damage or not. And if it is, it means it doesn't work with dual wield. Yeah. Or if it's a negligible, like if it's a very small increase, there's no point in even having it. I'll just do a, I'll, I'll do something different. Okay. All right. People are voting. In the meantime, let's end the pre-stream. Let's swap over. Let's get started with Elden Ring. We'll do this experiment with the Ash of War and uh, and go from there. Thank you guys so much for the support on the pre-stream. I really appreciate it. I needed it today. And uh, let's jump in. Awesome. Okay. Fruits07 did a super chat. He says, hi, Phil. How's my buddy? What's going on, Fruits? 
Welcome to the stream. Kevin had done another super chat earlier saying it's your birthday month. We got to celebrate it. Okay. <laughs> okay. Whatever you say. I, I feel like the week was exhausting enough. <clears throat> okay. So. Swap over here. Where is... Oh, here we go. Click here. Webcam. Yeah, there we go. All right, that's good. We need death counter. You know, I'm pretty disappointed. My death counter's been in the 500s for like two weeks. It's unacceptable. We should be getting uh, triple digit deaths every single week. Or else how am I going to hit 1,000 deaths by the end of this game? So I better start dying more today. That's it. Today, my goal is to die more. <laughs> yes. Prisoner did a super chat. Thank you to Prisoner for a super chat. And let me grab my controller. Uh. Okay. Savoy, you're, mis you're misunderstanding. He says, the stream said it was live when I wasn't. It's actually not true. The thumbnail says live to, to represent that this is a live stream. If the stream is live... In the bottom right-hand corner, it'll actually have an, a red icon that says live, and that's generated by YouTube, and that indicates the stream is actually live, okay? If you're getting confused, there was a thumbnail that said live, but it was not live. There you go. Oh! It's Dark Dave's fault. <laughs> Ooh, uh. Savoy, I don't blame you because I just, just this week I started, well, I guess maybe it was this week, I started putting up the thumbnail that say live per the request of my viewers. So I wouldn't be surprised if you just saw that out of nowhere and got confused because it changed. It used to just have like uh, no thumbnail. Right? And all of a sudden you start seeing thumbnails that say live. You probably thought the streams were live. That's my fault. Sorry for the confusion. All right. Elden Ring. Fruit says I'm the best. I don't know about that. But I do appreciate, uh, I do appreciate your uh, kind words. Maybe you think I'm the best. But I don't think that's an objective statement. Likely it's a subjective statement. Right? <clears throat> right. My hands feel sticky. Oh, I forgot about this. I forgot that Millicent was here. All right, hold on. I want to wash my... I don't know why my hands feel sticky. I don't know what I was touching. Give me a second. I'm just going to wash my hand quick. I'll be right back. <laughs> Fun. What, what do I do? Okay. Ah, much better. Clean hands are a key to success when you are going to be gaming in anything difficult. Remember that. You need to have clean hands, okay? All right, so. Let's resume, and let's see what we want to do. Can someone please shut up this dude who's being a, a moron? Vestus is still going. I'll let it go a little longer. 
Ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to Elden Ring. Now, today's stream, I feel, will be very interesting for multiple reasons. First of all, we're in a whole new region, and it's a whole new ball game, right? Interestingly enough, on. the map is empty, <laughs> which is kind of weird because the rest of the game, the map's pretty much been populated, like, everywhere. And now, for the first time, you kind of see the real perspective of the map, and you see that, Stop I guess, this. in this endgame area, they kind of gave up a little bit. Because there's a lot of empty space, okay? Um, so here we are in the land of the giants. See, giants mountaintop catacombs. Uh, Zamor ruins. The Grand Lift of Rold. And there is another way to go, but I think you need to get the two medallions to have the lift go the other direction. And likely this is where you're heading to the end game stuff. Now, a couple quick things. Number one. We are trying a new build you wanna today. Play the fucking Dual game. Great Axes. I just made this build at the tail end of the last... I was experimenting with it a little bit. But I don't know how I feel about it. And here's what I mean about that. Um, I put an Ash of War on my weapon that I'm not actually sure is working. I just took the weapon off by accident because I'm an idiot. The Ash of War that I put on it is... How do I see it? Can you not see it? Oh, the Royal Knight's Resolve. Skill of the Knights who once served the Elden Lord. Hold the flat of the armament to your face and pledge your resolve, greatly powering up your next attack. Okay, so I put this on here, and I'm like, oh, this will be cool because now I got this cool dual wheel built, swinging these double great axes around. It should be doing extra damage. I don't think it works. I want to find an enemy to test this on and see if it does additional damage or not. Is there any normal enemies around here? The fuck, there's no enemies. Seriously? There's seriously no enemies. I'm going to have to, like, kill an animal, which I really don't like doing. But I just might have to. There's nothing else to fight. There's no... Yeah, there's seriously no enemies. What the shit? All right, I guess we got to fight an animal. I'm going to feel bad about it, all right? So. Let's do a jump attack, okay? Without the knight's nice resolve and count and how much damage it, because it does. you're just going to waste our time again. You can't hit the spirit animal. <laughs> you son of a fucking bitch. You piece of shit. Wow, I got completely duped and made a fool of moments I into so my stream. Act, act, act. So when I laugh, you I go, son of a bitch. <laughs> or, all right, <laughs> fuck all that. Let's go somewhere like, where we know act, we act, can act, fight act, something. Act, act. Um, no, it sounds nothing like that at all. I'm trying to think, like, where would there be, like, maybe a tanky enemy uh, that we could immediately just, like, uh, oh, shit. Where would there be a tanky enemy? Try this. Sixteen dollars and fifty one cents from PayPal. Wait a minute. There's a gold seed there I never got. We'll do that in a minute. We'll definitely check that out in a minute, but. What is this? Where am I? Why are there items here? What the? So 1080. How? Nine thirty nine. Today's been incredibly slow. <laughs> what? What does this do? What, what do I do? Did that open the door? What, what do I do? I think I just opened the door below me.
which is really just a shortcut to here, where we've already been. What, what do I do? So it's really not a shortcut at all, actually. Yeah, it's not a big deal. Boy, it's dark as fuck here. So, turning on the buff made me do less damage. I want you to think about that. By the way, I did find out that there is a, um... There is another one of those corruption seed things for the Dung Eaters quest. It's actually at the very beginning of the capital city. The reason I know that is because, as I told you guys, I've been watching other content creators play this game. And one of them just arrived at the capital city in, in the playthrough I'm watching. And he found it. I was like, oh, shit, I didn't see that. And remember, I need to find five of those for his quest line. <clears throat> so I might go back to the beginning to try to grab that. Um... Okay. Do this again? Maybe just do a regular a regular dual wielding hit. 770. Okay. Well, I did a thousand. It's hard to judge. It's hard to judge. It really is. Is it doing more damage or not? Fuck. Can't figure it out. What, what do I do? Hmm. They're smart. They block you from jumping in that direction, which would be a shortcut. They won't let you go down there. See that? It's annoying. Don't dual wield? Well, that's the point. The point is I need a buff for dual wielding. Martin says, you never explored this part of Lindel. There's loot to the right side of the door under the dragon from one of the knights. You can fight a seal and it gets you dicked lightning. What? I don't know what direction that means, Martin. You'd have to explain where to go from here because I have no idea what you're talking about. This is when we popped up from under... This is the dragon. We climbed what, the what dragon and ended up in this room. Right? Yeah, there's the dragon. So what, what would we do? Double slamming with these axes. What do I do? Right? The door you opened under the dragon, there's two knights, so I should try to go through that door now. But how do I get to that door? Here? Just run through it. What, what do I do? By the way, this is the door I was trying to get to, and I went the wrong way. <clears throat> this is the door. Yep. So is this a new area? I think it is. I don't think I've been here yet, right? Yeah, I haven't been over here yet. How did I get knocked down? What was that? 
I, I fell. Weird. Wait, am I... Is this where I think it is or no? No, it's... Uh, yeah, it is. I've, I've been here before. This is how you get into the... Yeah, I've already been here. It's just too dark. So that's not it. This way? I've already done this too. I already fought these guys over here. This would be under the dragon. Oh, that's just dandy. What? I tried to double heal. It didn't even work. <laughs> I didn't do that at all. I, ne I pressed it once. It did two attacks. For no fucking good reason. This guy is a fucking asshole, man. Blah, 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 I know I killed this guy before. I guess I never killed the guy on the ground. How do I fucking get to this fucking guy? What, what do I how do? I, do? I can't get to him. I can't figure out how to climb up there. I know I've done it before. I remember fighting him. I can't figure it out. I seriously can't figure it out. It's too dark to see, too. That's the other problem. It's so fucking it's dark. Miserable. I can't see where I'm going, so I can't see if there actually is a way to climb what, up there. What do I do? Annoying as shit. Ha! Ah, I interrupted his counterattack. All right, so I did get a new seal, huh? And it might be good. Yeah, let's take a look if uh, if it really is the one that buffs. Uh, if it buffs lightning, well, it boosts dragon cult incantations. Uh, and it's his dragon cult incantations of the royal capital. The worship of the ancient dragons does not conflict with belief in the Erd Tree. After all, this seal and lightning itself are both imbued with gold. So I guess it's lightning. It buffs lightning spells. Is that correct? All right. I I guess I guess we'll go with with my build for now. I kind of wanted to explore Ashes of War that had um. Ashes of War that had more to them, like, like combat-wise. And see if I could do, like, special moves and stuff, but... I don't know. Anyway. I could level up my other hand axe more, too. <clears throat> the seal gets 15 to 20% increase in lightning spells combined with Godfrey's Icon Talisman does 20% again, and you could stack your faith. Then you have Dick Lightning. Remember, you have... The boss spells. That's true. So, by the way, guys, the gold vest has one. Let me get the gold vest for today. All right. Let me do it. Oh, now we're going. My puppy nibbles to me a dollar fifty. Says between this game and Crash Bandicoot, what game have you died the most in? Yes, I don't they know. Said that you're gay boy. And Rat King did a dollar fifty. We're gonna make love to each other content. tonight. I'd be grateful if you could say that he wants me to say something. This is not cameo. No, I'm not gonna say that, especially when I don't actually know what it means. But thanks for the dollar fifty tip. You know, you go to cameo, 
and you have to pay people like 50 to 100 bucks for to get them to say something. If you come to my stream and get me to say for a dollar fifty, I don't think so, bro. Bro, <laughs> don't think so, bro. Well, <clears throat> where have you been hiding? I took you no matter it. Lay out your own. Okay. So, if I wanted to, I could bring this up now, and it actually wouldn't be. It would be fine because I have another plus eight. So I could still bring another weapon up to plus eight. It wouldn't be a big concern. Um, I could also bring this up as well. Neither of them would improve the scaling, so it's not a huge deal. It would be a little bit of a damage increase for each one. Yeah, not a giant damage increase. Oh, uh, where's that new seal? Where fuck? Where is it? There's no way I passed it. It's in this menu. Alright. I think we should upgrade this. The gravel stone seal for a while. I'm gonna run out of smithing stones, aren't I? I already did. <laughs> I have, like, no smithing stones. I have to go buy a ton now. But I don't think I can. Because I don't have any runes to pop. Right? I used all my runes last time to level these weapons up. Son of a bitch. Should I bring this up? Is it worth it to use my smithing stone 8? I don't know. I'm on the fence about this. I'm gonna go buy more smithing stones. I wanna bring this new seal up. Thank you, Martin, for telling me about that seal that I didn't even know was there. Oh, wait a minute. Someone said I could get a boss weapon that's actually even better. Hold on. Someone said there's a one-handed great axe that I could get that's even better. I don't know if that's true. Godric? Nah, see, that's not good. That's only skills of strength and dex. It's not as good. Nah. They are great axes, but they're not as good. They're only strength dex great axes. They don't scale with faith, and you can't add the faith buff to them. So they're not as good. No. Death lightning or Fortisax lightning spear. No. All right. Jade, I'm glad. I'm glad you're here, man. Martin, I don't know who Selen is. He says doing Selen's quest. Uh... Doing Selen's quest will give you crafting materials. I don't know who the hell that is. I'm stuck. <clears throat> Wild Bomb says I should try Prayerful Strike. You heal like 30% health when you hit an enemy with it. Do I even have Prayerful Strike? Whoa. I have none of any of these. I used them all. Jeesh. Probo X, you should buy 50 of each. Yeah, I don't have the souls or the runes right now. I could probably do it later. Can't do it right now. I have no runes. I'll have to go do further exploration before I can do that. Back on my mountain. And there's where I ran out. Smithing Stone 5. I would need three more. And then I could pump this up again. Oh, it would go to S after that. Yeah, it would. So actually, if I can go get the Smithing Stone, I should do that. Get it to S at least. S scaling, that is. <clears throat> okay. Thank you, uh, Martin, for telling me about this seal. I had no idea it existed in the game. I need five. I need three more. I'm gonna run out of rooms, though. Okay. 
All right. Then we'll go back and make some progress. Back on my mat, huh? Okay, I need one more, but I couldn't afford it. If I buy it, it's fifteen hundred, and I don't have then the runes to level it again. So when I get more runes, I'll come back here. But in the meantime, I'm gonna equip this. See, here's here's the trade-off. Because the God Slayer seals I need plus twenty four. I really do. I need that money. Ink can't scale two forty six as opposed to 215, but this is going to already give me a lightning buff, see? Yeah, it's already giving me a lightning buff, so it might overall actually be better. I'm not fat rolling, so... Okay. Devin, you're right. He says, this feels like a game you need to play twice to know what to do. I mean, yeah, this is a game you probably have to play a bunch of times if you really want to make the best of it. Luckily for me, I have an interactive audience that, that helps me out, and you guys are helping me out. Thank you for that. I'm doing my best in the one run that I'm doing, you know? Oh. Martin says, Celine is a witch at Witchbane Ruins or the Waypoint Ruins and was locked back at Limgrave. Remember the last time you found Azure in a spell? Now you've triggered the quest line. Seriously? Oh, my God. Wasn't the Tombsward Cave where we found her, someone that looked like her being imprisoned? Uh, Waypoint Ruins? Says she's there. Mr. Puppy Nibbles to me $1.50 says you were considering going back to MLB. I hope you consider playing it again. It's on Game Pass. So it's kind of a no-brainer for me to maybe at one point when I'm looking for chill content this year to do it. And I, I'm not against it at all. I guess we'll see what happens. <clears throat> there you are, my apprentice. Shall we commence the lesson? Show Azure's sorcery. What's this sorcery, my apprentice? Ah, then you have seen Master Azure. Yeah, he's fucking Master Glintstone. Master was a founding Glintstone sorcerer. <laughs> and my first teacher... A stern judge of men. What the hell did I just get? But he must have seen something in A room. Me. You make us both proud. Seen something in me? He's we dead. Speak more later, <laughs> my apprentice. Tell me your if story. You recall, I was exiled from the Academy of Rea Lucaria. It was for attempting to restore the primeval current of Glimstone sorcery. The toothless pedantry peddled by the Carian royal family can rot for all I care. I want glimstone sorceries that open our minds, unbound by terrestrial taboos, no matter what we give in return. My apprentice. My axes in her body. I presume the fate. It's disturbing. Teacher and that. student are not bound to tread the same path. But hear me out, my apprentice. I need your help to restore the primeval current of glimstone sorcery. Perhaps this is a journey we could take together. Of course. Splendid. Another quest. Thank you. This pleases me. It's been far too long since I found a fellow kindred spirit. You must have a fabulous teacher. By the way, something I want to throw out to the viewing audience today. By the way, viewing audience, welcome. If you're watching live on stream, we're at ultra low latency for the first time ever on YouTube. That means you guys get to actually see this stream almost live. There's only a five second delay. And when you type, I see it right away. So I get your messages right away in conjunction to what's going on on the stream. First time I've ever tried this, we're experimenting today, okay? <clears throat> so I am pissed and here's why. You remember early on in my playthrough, I killed Patches. So of course, unbeknownst to me, there's a quest line at Volcano Manor for him much later where Excuse me. He wants you to do an assassination for him. And if you do it, the reward is that crazy fucking lava whip that yesterday when I played, we saw that fucking uh, snake dude using at Volcano Manor Dungeon. Remember, he was going crazy, throwing lava all over the place. And I have the stats for it. It's a faith build whip. But I can't get it because Patches is dead. So now I actually don't know uh, how to fix that. Like, is there any way 
to get Patches alive again, right? I don't know. It sucks, because I really want the weapon, and I don't think there's any other way to get the weapon. It really blows. <laughs> okay, here we go. I have a favor to ask. I need your help. Master Lusat is another found in Glimstone Sorcerer. And like Master Azure, he was banished. Oh, okay, good. We're going to find the other Master Sorcerer. <laughs> really? He's sitting in a prison. This Glimstone Key. Oh! Cross the boundary that encloses him. Where could he be? Celian Sealbreaker? The town of Celia? Jump for joy. I need him to restore the primeval current of Glimstones. Do you want to play the fucking He's game? I a child of the stars. Such is his body now. Lead on Lusak. After his expulsion <clears throat> from the Academy, I heard that Master Lusak returned to his home. A place called Celia in the eastern cave. Ah. Thinking about it. I obtained the glimstone key I gave you from a Selian sorcerer. It wouldn't be too much of a leap. The Ziggy Piggy is here. He stopped nearby. Okay. So we have to go back to the town of Celia to try to figure this shit out. So. There's Celia. The back streets? Cillian <sighs> Highway and Kayla just under Fort, Fort Pharaoh. The place I'm looking for is where I fought the three crystal bosses. I have absolutely no recollection of where that is. Is this it? Is it the Celia Crystal Tunnel? No, that's where we that's where we first teleported here. Oh, is this it? The Celia Hideaway? Oh! Celia Hideaway. That must be it. They said, Phil, you know, we contribute to you, but it always seems like it's a black hole because it always seems like no matter how much we contribute, you're always still having problems. You're always still in debt and, and nothing's getting better. This must be I it. agree with the key description. So I've already done it. That helps, right? <clears throat> Where's the fucking key? Here it is. Can release Master Lusat from his confinement. Capable of bringing the seal that keeps Master Lusak confined. Celia, town of sorcery, can be found in Caleb. The key was said to have been found in the possession of a Celian sorcerer. It doesn't really give you much, huh? The fart inhaler tipped me a dollar fifty and says, How do we stop the New World Order implementing a totalitarian soy state? Uh. Uh. Drink a lot of beef oh. stein. That should help. Okay. Um. So, here we are, but I don't know what I'm doing. What, what do I, I do? Going. I have no idea where I am. Take that as you will. Oh, hi. He missed. I know where we are. This was the hidden area. What, what do I do? Okay. This was the hidden area. Yes, I remember this. It was an illusory wall. Okay, but now what are we doing? I forgot to change my Ash of War. I'm going to keep this one for now. We want to go in the cave and find a way down. Pissed. I'm pretty sure we, did, we cleared the cave already. What, what do I do? I'm pretty sure we did it. This is the one with the three what, fucking what crystal assholes. We cleared this. It's a major pain in the dick. What, what do I do? The... Okay. <laughs> we gotta do this again. Ugh. There's a sealed door in this cave. I probably found it and didn't know what it was and ignored it for the longest time. Well, this is kind of cool. We're going to find a legendary sorcerer in here. It just kind of sucks that I've already done the whole fucking cave, you know? I know I'm not going to find any useful items because I already cleared the cave. Oh, 
really good range with these great axes. It's deceptively... It looks like it's much shorter than it is. It seems like when I do the slam, it actually reaches pretty much further than it looks about. like it would. And thank God these guys are pushovers for me now. I don't have to worry about the damage output at all. Look, don't really have to worry in any way. Nice. Easy peasy. But now I have no idea where I'm going. You have to take a large crystal down in this particular area. Like down there? Okay. Aha. I think that's what's intended. You go over here and then you drop down. Man, and this was tough when I first did it, remember? It was actual pain in the ass. Now it's just you know, way easier because I'm much higher level. Here we go. My last shot, fly, go the arrow! Oh, God! Yeah, oh, 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 oh! You didn't die. It is dark as they fuck. Are. That's it. And we found this. I know we found this earlier. I remember finding it and not knowing what we were going to do with this. Open. Nice. Nice. And there he is. The only difference is that this guy has a, a rounded crystal head. He's dead too. They're both dead. All right, Stars of Ruin spell. Praise the teacher. Yeah, praise him. I crawl on his dead body. Here you go. Praise him. Stomp on his fucking uh, head. Look, his head became a glintstone. Ew. Oh, that's creepy. You can see the side of it. Look. <laughs> his head became a round glintstone. While the other sorcerer's head became a sharp glintstone, and then they both died. Great. So we go back now? I assume. Okay. Very good. What happened to the teacher? He's dead. He's fucking dead, man. That's what happens when you delve too much into alien technology, which is exactly what the glintstone sorceries are. But you might not know that at this point, but it's alien tech, and it mutates them into crystals. My apprentice. <clears throat> Give me a moment later. I have a favor to ask. I already helped. What are you talking about? I already did it. About the request. Here we go. The form you see before you is merely a projection. My body oh. swear. But the academy shackles prevent it being moved. <laughs> I'm playing a woodwind instrument. I'm Japanese. <laughs> Imprisoned in the ruins just down from the church of Marika. Past the plain of the wandering mausoleum. Can you make the journey to my body? So I south of the church of Marika. Only trust with you. Okay. Alright, Lusak's location. You could have uh. What a place to find Master Lusat. You have my gratitude. This is all your work. I am truly pleased uh. to have you as an apprentice and a kindred uh. This is a mere token of my thanks. Please take it. Starlight shards times one. This brings us a full step closer. The bodies of Masters, Azure, and Lusat can be admitted to the Academy. Okay. If only I could undo these wretched shackles. So that part's done, but she didn't really give me nothing. She gave me a fucking Starlight Shard. I don't know what I'm supposed to do with that. All right, about the My request. Body is on the Weeping Peninsula at the southern tip of the lands between. Imprisoned in the ruins just down from the Church of Marika, past the plain of the Wandering Mausoleum. Can you make the journey to my body? So, hold on. That... The Weeping Plains? Where's the Weeping Plains? Uh... 
What, what do I do? I don't know what the Weeping Plains are. Where would the Church of America be? She says southernmost. She's full of shit. There's no southernmost. There's no Church of America I'm in the very southernmost confused. area. She's a little fucking idiot. That's the third Church of America. Where the first big turtle mausoleum was? How in the holy hell am I supposed to remember? Why am I toxic? Where the first mausoleum was? What, what do I How do? How do I remember that? The Church of Pilgrimage is a Church of America. Tiger, tiger, roo, All right, roo, where am I supposed roo, to go? Tiger, roo, roo, roo. I'll tell where it is. <laughs> Before I waste time, I know you guys want an entertaining stream. How the fuck do I get there? So this is the Weeping Peninsula. Southern Shack with the Merchant, and then head northwest. Okay, thank you. What, what do I there do? Wait, was this wrong? Not this. You mean this one? Go to the Tombsward Ruins. Okay, Tombsward Cave. Do oh, that's, oh, thing? this isn't what we found earlier in the game. That's what the body we found that was being tortured. It's her real body being tortured. So we gotta go to the where her real body was. All right, I know exactly where that is. We were literally just talking about that. Remember? And people were like, oh, you found this, like, way early. It's right here. It's in the Witchbane Ruins. Okay. The wrong direction. It's this way. Yes, I remember it completely. Because I found that super early on exploring. And everyone was like, oh, that's for a quest way later. And I was like, yeah, but this doesn't necessarily look like the woman. <laughs> Uh, <laughs> we already met in the other cave, and everyone like, was like, oh, maybe your sequence yeah, broke? Yeah, yeah. No, no, I didn't sequence break. At all. It's that that's her real body, and the and her talking in the other area well, is her projection. Maybe you shouldn't have just stood still. Paid attention, dumbass. There's right, so the mausoleum. The okay. Awesome. Here it is. What the fuck? The fuck out of my way. <laughs> you try to summon that shit on me now? Get the fuck out of my way. Here it is. My apprentice. Thank you for coming. Oh shit! Jeez. Hold on! Oh! The fucking asshole followed me. Jesus, he got pummeled in the paste. Oh, let's try that again. My apprentice. <laughs> Thank you. <for> <laughs> These shackles take a toll on us all. There is something I need you to look after. My primal glimstone. A star has fallen and my fortunes waver. Someone may come for my life. And so, I am trusted with you. Myself. Accept it. A primal glintstone. Jeez, the hell is this? Uh, ripping her fucking heart out. Like Kano in fucking Mortal Kombat. That sounded painful. Selen's primal glintstone. <laughs> Thank you, my apprentice. This is my essence. Please, treat it with care. That's it? Treat it what you hold. Is my 
very being. Okay, I'm being told rest of the grace and come back. Okay. Mm. I keep jumping for joy by accident. I don't want to jump for joy. It's a mistake. <laughs> Isn't it funny how I said today, oh, I found about there's a whole quest line with the gold mask guy that we could do, but I don't think I want to do NPC quest today. And then what am I doing? Every fucking time, man. Every time. Stay dead. Look who it is! It's the guy from Redgrave Castle who held the festival to kill Radon. Ah, well met. I hardly expected to see the champion of the festival here, of all places. You didn't know Selen, did you? Whatever the case, she's dead now. <laughs> Just put it behind you. She was known as the Graven Witch. Obsessed by the primeval current, countless sorcerers fell to her hand. The most dangerous mage in the entire history of Rhea Lacaria's academy. Okay. It is strange, mm. though. The woman, she was like a husk. A soul already fled. I suspect Selen lives on elsewhere. I'm sure she'll turn up eventually in another body. A sickening thought. But one that won't stop gnawing at me. So he's saying she's like a horrendous criminal and murderer of other sorcerers. I suspect Selen <clears throat> lives. I'm sure she a sicken. So I guess we're done here for now. Yeah. So now do I go back to her in the other area? Let's take a look at this item that she gave me. Glintstone from within the sorceress Selen's body. Seemingly half alive, blood vessels are We're visible within. Me. In essence, a primal glintstone is a sorcerer's soul. If transplanted into a compatible new body after their original dies, the sorcerer will rise again. My apprentice, do you think it is tasteful? <laughs> yes. Hmm. Next, you go to Ronnie's Rise into the secret blah, underground blah, with all the puppets. Blah, 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 Thank you, blah, 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 Kind of odd that that happened. I don't know if in the plot, if someone came and murdered him. Okay. So it's right over here. We had already very, uncovered it. Very. I just gotta very find it. Hypocritical. I don't remember. I don't think you put a waypoint on my map when I uncovered it. No, I didn't. See. It's in these ruins somewhere. It's fucking annoying, I remember. It's very annoying to find. Son of a bitch, it sucks. To do this again. Hopefully it didn't re recover itself, right, with an illusion. I don't think it would have. But I don't fucking specifically remember where it was. It was around here somewhere. Are you going to just complain about the barbed wire armor that? set? So, on the map, you have to go all the way far north to this area called the Shaded Castle. Once you beat it, the boss wears this armor, and once you beat the boss, you can then go back to the round table and talk to the, the two finger lady who talks to the two fingers, and you can buy it as boss armor there. There you go. <clears throat> now. Where the fuck is this? Oh, this is a pain in the ass. Where is it? It's in these ruins somewhere. Oh, 
I don't remember specifically where. Oh! You can hear it! You heard it, right? It made the noise. God damn it! Anyone know where it is? Anyone know where it is? And by the way, you can actually respond more quickly in five seconds now. Because I'm doing ultra low latency streaming today, so you can actually directly help me if you know where the fuck what, it is. What do I do? From the middle tower, what, go what left. What do I do? That's the middle tower. <laughs> okay, you can't go left. If you go left, you'll fall off the map. <laughs> Maybe it's here. What the? Okay. The enemy is near it. Hint, hint, hint. There it is. Cool. Why do I read the messages? I don't even know why I bother with it. Saluvis's puppet, do not touch. It's all his puppets. Aha! Here we go. My apprentice. Just how long has it been? Thank you. You've helped me fill a new body once again. And it's truly a gem. Young and full of vigor, a snug fit for my primal glimstone. Better still, I've shed those awful shackles. Finally, I can return to the Academy to expel the Karian royal family and restore the primeval current. My dear apprentice, I owe this all to you. Okay. Finally, I can return to the Academy to expel the Karian royal family and restore the primeval current. So, does that mean I go to the Academy okay. and she kick everyone out? <clears throat> Fair enough. All right. So, if you're going to be an asshole, oh. you're going to be treated like an asshole. You're going to be shown the door. I'll be holding you to a higher standard. She sells you sorceries again. Doesn't really help. That's it. I don't want any drama in the stream chat. Go to the Ray Lucaria Grand Library Grace. Take the exit to find two new summon signs. Jesus, this is fucking quest lines, man. Okay, where even am I? Renal is in here. <clears throat> this is where you respec. I was strongly considering respecking, but I don't know if I necessarily want to. Oh, here's one of the statues you're supposed to do something at, right? You're supposed to do something at this statue and something happens, but I'm not sure what. I was thinking about respecting to try some different builds, because I have, like, a ton of those larval tier items. I've gotten a bunch of them in the game. I'm trying to find it right now. I don't know where it would be. Here? I have 11! I can respec 11 times. Pretty you insane, You want to play the fucking game? So people are saying right here, outside the boss room, or something? Ah. You can... Oh, you can help her or you can challenge her. Now that's a twist. <clears throat> so Martin says, here's your choice. If you invade Selen, you'll get special upgrade materials. If you assist her, you'll get magic stuff like a staff and some spells. So it's a choice depending on what you want. You can either help her or kill her. Shit. I mean, definitely, the, the I think the upgrade material will be better. He's saying it's the highest level upgrade material in the game. So I think that would be better for me. I don't really care about the magic spell, right? If you help her, you get his armor. Whose armor? What, what do I do? 
Martin says the upgrade material you'll get is only one of eight in the entire game. It's a no-brainer to do that. It is miserable. All right. It's an interesting what, what choice. Do I, do? I don't. The thing is, I definitely don't need spells. I'm not going to be using intelligent spells this run. Like I said, if I do a second run of the game, I would consider doing a magic run. Helping her means you have to kill the witch hunter, and that's how you get his armor. So if I help her, you kill the witch hunter and you get an armor set and some magic. If I go against her, then I'll get an upgrade material to make a weapon highest level, a rare weapon. Oh. All right, I think we're going to fight her. She's going to be like, why are you fighting me after all this help, right? Let's do it. She's going to be like, what the fuck? <clears throat> yeah, we're teaming up with him. The rumor going around in the coronavirus test, if you have health insurance, is like $300 to $500. If you don't, it's like $1,600. What the fuck? Alright, thanks. Oh! Fuck! BWT, cheer to the bits of the toilet paper. He got killed too! Huh! He got murdered by the spell. Everyone died but me. Special delivery! Selling <laughs> bell bearing. Special delivery! <laughs> I don't know because there's nothing else to do here. I got the crown. Let's take a look. There it is. <sighs> One of the glintstone crowns bestowed upon rare Lucaria scholars whose purists deemed worthy increases intelligence and arcane to the detriment of your stamina. The gentle looking crown was granted to a scholar who excelled in her studies, which made her the title of witch. Doesn't say how much you get, though. Really? Ryu, Ryu and Suiko says, now you can go back to the dead wizard Azure and Lusat. You can get their armor sets. Oh. All right. I don't think I will care. Go back later, maybe. Aha! Uh -huh. My thanks for the aid given. I heard from Eiji that Lady Rani might have found herself a champion. Uh, Eiji's very dead. I didn't know he was talking about you. <laughs> You've helped me fulfill an old promise. This is the least I can do for you. Please, take it. Yeah, Ancient Dragon Smithing Stone. The highest level Smithing Stone in the game. So now, I mean, that's a tough decision. Because any of these boss weapons I've been using can be taken up. That one can be taken up. Um, My Golden Halberd can be taken up. Blah, 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 but man, that's a good reward. That was a good reward. I'm going to hold off on using it for now until I absolutely need it, but cool. All right. That stone is for regular not boss weapons. Oh, it's still good. Ancient, was it called Ancient Dragon Smithing Stone? Yes. Ancient Dragon Smithing Stone. Look at that. Made by polishing a golden gravel stone, a scale of the ancient dragon lord, and a hidden treasure from Farum Azula. The ancient dragon lord C is said to lie beyond time. This stone lightly twists time, shut up this allowing dude the creation of a woman to sling a god. Jesus. <laughs> Jesus. Am I up for gold masks quest? I mean, we kind of just did a giant quest line that I, I think maybe we should do some progress before we do another one. We got, we got Millicent to talk to. We got an assassination to do here. We got an Erd tree to investigate. We got a lot to do, man. <clears throat> talk to Millicent. Oops, I want, I want to talk, not to acquire the flower. In such a place, what could your purpose possibly 
No. I know well enough who you are. And what I know is good enough for me. Call upon me again in battle. Ah. Should you have the need. Okay. I'm searching for a fort to the north of the ruins. I heard the master of the fort was given a ah. that allowed him to visit the Halic tree. That's what we're trying to Indeed. get to use the lift. I believe that is where Melania will be found. The Halic tree is hidden somewhere in these northern lands. So we don't know much about the Halic tree, right? We don't. We wish we wish we knew about the Halic tree. We haven't, I didn't learn anything about the lore of it yet. I could have actually summoned her during the last Black Gargoyle fight. Oh, yeah. Wow, the one that was just outside of here. <clears throat> okay. Martin says, at some point in the in the game, you have to complete other quests before you, you continue or else you lock yourself out of the quest, but it's not yet. I'm searching for a fort. I heard the... So, the fort she's talking about most likely is this, right? So, I guess what we should do... We gotta find a way to climb up these areas. Um, I don't see a way to, to climb yet, right? Because once we're up, then we can take these bridges around. And these bridges, there's a, there's a burnt herd tree we can investigate. That's how you get to the fort. My assassination is on the ground level, but I'm not sure how to get to it. It's just a, we are, by the way, we're gonna go on a break in a minute here. I guess what we could do is ride around a little bit and try to see if we can figure anything out. Turn on my light. <laughs> it doesn't look very straightforward. It looks like you have to go around and figure shit out. What the fuck is that? Oh, it's one of the giants. That's nothing. I only fought these guys a million times already. So can you walk on the... There's a frozen river and you can walk on it. Okay. Back down here. Ugh. Whoosh! That's the big charged R2. That'll probably launch his ass. So I'm coming up on my assassination target for Volcano Manor, which means if we do it, we can go back to Volcano Manor, finish the quest line, right? And go, then we go, can actually go, finish go, that go. manor. Fatty, fat. Which I wanted to do it and haven't been able to. If you can do that, it'd be good. Someone please shut up this dude who's being a, hey a moron. We're about to be like right on top of it. It's over there. Who's fighting here? It's the beast people versus the vampire bats. Let's let them have their own squabbles. Let them settle them. In the meantime, there's a pile of bodies. It's dead giants. A pile of dead giants. Interesting. Oh no, someone's illegally restreaming you. And we found a oh, shack. No. Shack of the Lofter. Traveling Maiden Hood, Traveling Maiden Robe, Traveling Maiden Gloves, and Traveling Maiden Boots. I don't know why that's there. It seems like there should be a uh, an NPC there that eventually you earn that, but the NPC's gone. Maybe it's for a quest line I'm locked out of or something. Where is the summon symbol? Oh, it's right here. All right. Let's do it. Juno Hoslo. What are you doing? Hoslo's oath? I got an oath for you. Here it is. 
It's called a backstab. You like it? How about this? Oh, we can teleport, huh? We got a badass with a whip. Oh, here we go. Now he's talking about Dunkirk Champion. So he's a piece of shit. You oh. piece of donk. So you want to heal, huh? How about this? How about this? WWE Champions. All right. WWE Champions. Ooh. Ooh. He whips it good. I don't think about that. When a problem comes along, he fucking whips it. You probably know way more about the fucking game than I do. I was doing will. fine until he You're caught me with the whip, and that was it. I actually would not Lose allow him to move out of its range. He did whip it good. Wait, does that count as an actual death? Or do you just get re get sent back? Oh, you just get... Oh. Oh, that's weird. So I guess you die, but you immediately get your souls back. You could try again. Huh. So, I mean, yeah, it's a death, but not really, because there's no risk. You just immediately go right back. And that's what I did. How many flasks do you think he has? He he's out already? Oh, I'm done. Oh, okay, I can heal. Hurry up, hurry up. Ooh. <laughs> that was close. Oh, come on now. What's going on behind me? What is that uh. noise? I got him. What was that noise behind me? There was shit going on behind me. Runark and a stupid remedy. What the hell was the noise behind me? <laughs> Ooh, I got his whip. Oh, and his armor set. Oh, cool, cool, cool. All right, I want to check this out. Remember the tale of House Hoslo is told in blood? Yeah, who said that? Who the fuck said what, that? What do I do? I forgot the seed in Lindell. Yeah, I never went back. Oh, uh, let's see. Elden Ring cameraman tipped me $10 and I'm going to fuck you today. You probably are. I wouldn't be surprised if you do. You pretty much screw me every day. <laughs> you bastard. So. Oh, uh, hold on. The guy way back in the early round table, you just killed his sister? Oh, really? I killed his sister, huh? It's fucked up. What's up, Ghost of Jay? Good to see ya. Uh, let's look at some of the stuff that I just got. First of all, I just got the whip. The whip. Ooh. Hoslo's Petal Whip. Metal whip formed from razor-sharp chain-link blades that have the appearance of flower petals. The work of art is handed down through the generations of the illustrious House Hoslo. High dexterity is required to wield the weapon. Do you want to play have the fucking game? Um, but it excels in inflicting devastating blood loss. The tale of House Hoslo is told in blood. But its skill is shit. Its skill is just a kick. It's kind of crappy. So definitely the best whip so far in the game. I don't know if it's any better, but... The, blo the blood loss is good. Um... Oh, fuck. I wanted to look at the armor set. Maybe I'll put on the armor set. Uh, here it is. Hoslo Helm. A twin tail silver helm decorated with flowery adornments. A symbol on the head of the revered house Hoslo. Juno Hoslo had a younger brother who was all talk and no trousers. His inability to commit to action was such that Juno inherited the Hoslo legacy without resistance, granting him the freedom to the shower his little, bro about? little brother with adoration. Now, wait a minute.
Are you talking about the guy at the beginning of the game who was angry? Didn't he say his servant died? And then we never met him ever again. Is that who the guy who had the silver shoulder pads? I know this is a long time ago. Is that him? And so this is his sibling. Yes, I'm being told. It's weird because I never found him ever again. It certainly seemed like he would have had a quest line. I'm playing a woodwind instrument. I'm Japanese. The Hoslo armor. When Juno Hoslo received an invitation to the Volcano Manor, he discreetly refused. I have already walked many a road drenched in blood, yet never would I consider myself a champion. Same thing. I'm going to put on the whole set. It looks cool. Good poise. Oh my god, look at this. Holy shit, that's cool. Oh wow, that's a neat armor set. Oh, that's like the best one. That's the best armor set I've seen in the whole Are game so far. Retard? That's better than fucking Radon. That is so sick. I love it. I actually, ser seriously, that's my favorite armor set so far. Uh... You can find him somewhere in the Lake of Liernia. You can. Martin says, It's funny how the doc took 30 minutes to kill this particular guy. Most of all, he compares his plus 15 weapon to new ones and he thinks that they're all trash. Guy plays with his sword from the Knights of Limgrave. Okay, then. Anyway. I mean, he's a newcomer. He never plays from soft games, so. Anyway. uh, We're going back to Volcano Manor now, right? And we can finish the quest line. Then we gotta go on break because I gotta piss. Real bad, I gotta piss. Okay. The homosexuals are evil Jungle likes the barbed wire. I like the barbed wire too, but this is... This is regal. Look at this armor set. Right? It's definitely a regal armor set. I love set. Hulk Hogan's dick. I see that you've stayed the path of champions. This is your usual reward. Please. Taker's cameo. We'll have to see what it does. Perhaps you are ready. Ah. Might you see our lord? I think it's time to finish our Volcano lord. Man. Another kindred spirit treading the path of champions. If I hit see the lord, do we have to do it immediately? Because I don't want to do it immediately. I gotta take a break. I have to piss. Anyone know? I'll wait five seconds for someone to respond because now I have ultra low latency. There's a grace. Okay, what cool. do I do? As it should be. Now, close your eyes for a moment. I will transport you to the Lord's chamber. Oh, and this is where you get the spear. The guy had said there was a spear in the chamber you need to use to fight him. Farewell, then. <sighs> okay. May your visit be free. Fruitful. I like fruity, fruitful fights. Now, wait a minute. Let's sit down. This is not good. There's no spear. I was told there was supposed to be a spear. Shit. This is not good. Oh, uh, this is the audience pathway. Okay. Where are we on the map? It teleported us just randomly into a wall, okay? Um, wh what do I do? Now, hold on a second. If I had gone from the temple, Aigle, remember there was a teleporter? If I had hit the teleporter, does it take me to the exact same room? So it doesn't really matter either way? Same exact place. So I missed nothing. Cool. Because I wanted to be sure I didn't want to go back and, and miss part of the dungeon. So I basically, I beat the dungeon. We just got the boss. All right. Cool. Um, I'm just trying to think, is there anything else I want to do before I fight this boss? Is there anything? Oh, 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 oh. What did I just get? Where 
is it? Restores HP upon defeating enemies. A talisman engraved with the stern likeness of Praetor Rikard, master of Volcano Manor. The when Rikard turned to heresy, taking by force became the rule. The gods themselves were no different after all. Get a little bit of health every time you kill an enemy. It's not that bad, right? Right now, I still got faith, strength, HP, stamina, equip load, and jump attacks. So I'll probably keep what I've got. Okay, save up. And uh, then I'm going to do the fight. We're going to see what it is. Finally, cool. All right. Ladies and gents, it is time for the break. I got to piss so bad right now. I've been holding it in. Let's take about a 20-minute break. When I come back, there'll be about two hours left here of Elden Ring on the stream. We're going to... La, 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 la. There you go. Here, listen to my beautiful singing voice. La, 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 la. Trash game online. It really is trash. Fuck you, Treyarch, dumb fucks.
inch that fucking death, 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 inch that fucking death, 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 inch that fucking death. Yeah, come on, everyone together now. Someone please shut up this dude who's being a, a moron. If I could get down on my hands and knees and say thank you and still be on camera, I would do it.
dead air. Someone please shut up this dude who's being a, a moron.
All right, guys, I'm back. Give me a second here. I got to put everything on because <laughs> we have all the we hit all the perk levels today. So I got to put all the stuff back on. Two more hours, roughly, of Elden Ring here on the stream. I'm excited. We're finally going to take on Lord Rikerd, the Elden Manor, Elden Manor, the Volcano Manor boss. Oh. Who I, the, the game has pretty much hyped this guy for a while now, and I'm curious to see what it's going to be. The only thing we know is it's a gimmick boss fight, and the game has said you need to use a special spear that you're supposed to get in the, I guess, in the boss room to fight him. So, of course, harkens back to Storm Ruler. Hype train. The sword that you had to use in both Demon Souls and then Dark Souls 3 to kill gimmick bosses or else you couldn't really kill them, right? So I don't know uh, how this is going to pan out. I, I can actually tell you guys I was not spoiled whatsoever on this boss. I have never seen him. I have no clue what it's going to be. All we know is that in the lore of the game, Lord Rikard was eaten by a snake or giant snake god or something. So maybe that's what we're fighting. I don't know. We did see the skin. Remember the big snake skin we saw in the boss room where we fought the the uh, the god skin fat fatty. <laughs> so maybe that was his skin and that's what the boss looks like. I don't know. What, what do I do? Like I said, maybe it was a taste of things to come. And she did hat of money anyway, off reduces your salt during level, the break. So the hat is worn. I received a $25 tip from One Minute Man. And One Minute Man, let me tell you, I really appreciate that. Because today, number one, I needed the help. And number two, the fact that we exceeded the goal, but you are helping out in, in addition to that, it just helps more, okay, for my day off tomorrow. And I really appreciate that. <clears throat> so thank you, One Minute Man. Oh, that's cool. For the tip during the break, okay? Now, we are going to be playing until 4 p.m. like usual, which means after we, we take on Lord Rikert, as long as it's not giant hurdle and there's no way to beat him maybe i don't know uh we should be exploring more uh, of the new area and that's what we're going to do for the rest of the stream I, i'm not going to do any more npc quests today we already did a nice lengthy one there and it paid off got a good crafting item but for now i think we'll do the lord Riker fight and then we'll we'll further explore sound good <clears throat> okay by the way reminder tonight skyrim after hours at 6 45 p.m pacific time a late night skyrim stream i'm excited for that because we're doing the dark brotherhood quest line in addition, I am now doing ultra low latency streaming. That means you guys are seeing this within five seconds of me broadcasting it. Okay? First time I've ever experimented with this. Please let me know what you think. All right. So, Destiny Warrior says, face the boss with all of your might. And does a super chat. Thank you, Destiny Warrior. I appreciate that. Let's get that up on the leaderboard. 
Where did the W go? There we go. And Bass or Bass is under the impression I'll probably beat the game in around five more streams. I guess we'll see. I've heard someone said this morning there's two more secret areas to explore before we beat the game. So I guess it depends. I want to do them all. Okay. All right, you guys ready? All right, ladies and gents, I'm back from break, and I think it's time finally to check out the boss of Volcano Manor, Lord Riker. I have a lot of speculation about what this boss is, right? A few ideas. We've talked about it. That it might be a giant snake that ate him. We saw snake skin in the boss room of uh, of the, the Godskin Apostle guy earlier. So, didn't expect an octopus. Could it be a, a ball of writhing snakes? Could it be the boss that was supposed to be in Bloodborne and they cut out of it in the swamp? Oh, that would be something. If they re if they finally use that model. Because that's sick. Alright. I have no idea. Uh, oh, Jesus. I think it might be. So I'm supposed to use this on him? The Serpent Hunter. I guess we should drop my weapons and equip the Serpent Hunter, no? Uh, where's it gonna be? Oh, wait a minute. Why am I being stupid? <laughs> I'm being really dumb here. Come on. So, no requirements. Scales with B and E for strength and dex, but doesn't need any. Okay. Weapon that serves as both a great sword and a spear. Thought to have been used to hunt an immortal great serpent in the distant past. It manifests a long blade of light when facing against such a creature. When their master's heroic aspirations degenerated into mere greed, his men searched for a weapon which they might hail, uh, might halt their lord. Unique skills called the Great Serpent Hunt. Perform a powerful forward lunge and follow up with an upward thrust with an additional input. When finding a great servant, a long blade of light will appear, revealing the armament's true power. Holy shit. Okay. Well, obviously that was a mistake. Destroyed a giant rock. I think we'll two-hand this thing. Do some additional damage. All right. We got to fight a giant ball of snakes in lava. What's interesting is that, like I said, I wonder if this will be the model that they discarded from Bloodborne. Remember there was there supposed to be a snake boss in the swamp? This game has reused a lot of models that previously were supposed to be in other games and were ditched. Do you want to play the fucking game? God-devouring serpent. Oh my! You're large. I gotta lure him out of the lava. Have him come over here. Here we go. Closer out of this fucking lava. Here we go. Wait, the lava comes with him? The lava goes with him. Oh. 
Oh, that did good damage. that stun locks me at the end. Of course he does. Of course he does. <laughs> you son of a bitch. Well, now I know it's not that bad. You just fucking keep doing it. My laugh sounds like ack, ack, ack. So when I laugh and I go, <laughs> or, <laughs> Does that sound like ack, 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 ack? Damn, the second it does insane damage. But it takes all your FP. So, in reality, it sucks. If you do the second hit, yeah. If you do the second hit, you leave yourself wide open. It's easier to just keep doing the first hit over and over. Because he gets stunned with every hit. If you do the second hit, he always gets an attack that does insane damage to you. So I'm it seems to me like it's a bait, right? Like, just keep doing the, the first attack, don't do the follow-up. It seems like total bait.
total gimmick fight. I wonder what Go it's up. like without using gimmicks. You kill him without using the gimmicks? I wonder. So, ah, look! There's his face. Uh. Oh, very well. So he killed the snake, but now he's gonna pull himself out. Oh God! Look at this. Ugh. What the fuck? Seriously? What the fuck is this? Locking onto the wrong thing, so I can't hit the giant in front of me. Right. Are we gonna ever stagger? Uh oh. We can what was I supposed to do? I have no idea what the game expected me to do there. So I think what I need to do is I just need to put more flasks into FP now. If I put more flasks into FP, I can keep doing the more damaging attack. And I can just keep doing it over and over and kill his ass. Uh, here we go. We'll do four. What, what do I do? Okay. You rip him. All right. And that's it. Because you're just going to waste our time again. to do because you try to dodge and it just doesn't work because he's too big you know I love Hulk Hogan's dick look every time I attack he's a counter attack it's not fair right uh oh what do you want me to do again he's too big to get out of the way of he's fucking dumb attack and he gets a counter hit. He waits for me to do my attack and then what attacks through it. Oh, well that's really well programmed. Very challenging fight. And you can't dodge that either because it has a giant area of effect you can't get out of the way. going on? I can't even, what's, I can't even see anything anymore in the room. Look, I can't, 
I can't see! The camera's stuck in the wall! Oh, great! I love boss fights with the camera stuck in the wall. I love it. I wasted all my heroes. Camera's stuck in the fucking wall. Misses completely. Stupid! in this game is fucking stupid. Every big boss in the game is stupid. So here we go. Every move that I do will interrupt every move that you do. Every time you try to attack, I'll counterattack and hit through you. Oh, all my moves are monstrously delayed in telegraphs. So you can't dodge them. Come on. Jesus fuck, man. Same shit. Entire game is the same. I dodge, still got grab. Okay. Feel your level rising. Oh look, he waited for me to attack before he attacked. So that way he gets a counter. Look, I dodge, he fights right through my fucking roll as if I never did it. Wow. Well designed. Look at them. Look at them. Yes, just keep fighting right through the roll. Yes, well designed. All my health. Poison isn't even that bad in this game, but in this fight it is. They right. changed the rules of the game so poison does like double damage in this fight for no good reason. Uh, this is why I hate gimmick fights. And now I can't even change my death counter. Here, I'll just say it's 589 because I have no idea. My keyboard died, and now it won't even update. I'm just going to say 589 because I actually don't care. Okay. Special delivery. Uh, <laughs> cool boss, <laughs> stupid fight. Special delivery. <laughs> yep. Through the 
roll! Bite me through the roll! Yes! Yeah, I pressed it once. It wouldn't let me do anything. It wouldn't let me punish it. Wow. Are you gonna just put it on? Finally work! a chance to do something there, right? I really had a chance to do something there. Jesus fuck, man. They can't do a fucking good boss. They seriously can't. <laughs> Stupid as fuck. Oh my god. What, what do I do? No, the fight's not tough. It's stupid. It's a gimmick bullshit boss that does bullshit to you that other bosses just doesn't happen. It's full of shit. It just keeps fucking doing dumb shit. No grab. Even though you're rolled. Mm -hmm. I did R1 when he was staggered. It did nothing. As you saw, it just used a re it was a Disney regular Disney. fucking stab three times. It did not do the punish. Uh, what do they call it? The critical? It didn't do it. He staggered. It doesn't work. He just fucking stabs him three times in the face. There's probably some dumb specific area you need to do it. Some really ultra specific spot to poke him. But it doesn't glow like any other enemy in the game. You don't know where to do it.
still grabs you through the roll. So dumb. Like, oh, don't you understand? It's a gimmick fight, so none of the game mechanics of the game apply to this fight. You have to take certain hits, there's nothing you can do about it. You'll roll, he'll grab you through it. You still have an eye frame, don't care. Stagger him. Oh, no bonus spots over to snap him during the stagger. That doesn't apply to this boss. Tried to roll, doesn't work, delay. Dodge! I knew the boat was coming, still hits me anyway. Now a meteor hits me out of the fucking sky. I can't do the follow up. I'm stuck on a wall. I'm gonna die to the wall. I am. I'm gonna die to the fucking wall. I can't see anything. Are you fucking shitting me? <laughs> the entire room is just full of shit. You can't see anywhere you're going or anything you're doing. Wow. What a great fight. Oh, uh, yeah. One of the most well designed gimmick fights. You fucking idiots. Dude, it's terrible. The entire fucking salt. room is full of shit. You can't get out of the way of it. What a great gimmick fight. Oh, yeah. Let's kiss their butts a little more. Fill the whole room with enemy... Uh, with, with hits. Everything hits you. There's lava. There's fucking flame skulls. There's fucking snakes. Yeah, it's great. Well, well made. There's no way to dodge that, by the way. It just hits you every time. Still grabs me through the roll. I love it. Still grabs me through the roll. Oh yeah, this is a great game. Kiss its butt. Kiss its butt. Say it's the best game ever made. Go ahead. I love it. Oh, I love it. This completely is an unlockdown. Dodge doesn't come out. Can't move someone against the wall. Can't see the wall because the camera's so. Whoa, can't roll. It's not fun. It's not fun because you die to bullshit like the camera. Can't see where I am. Am I against the wall? I don't know.
Can't move, so I guess I am. The camera won't tell me because the camera's stuck. It's a piece of shit. <clears throat> Fuck. Piles of shit that get in your way. You die to the boss and not to the boss. I can't do anything because there's a pile of stuff in my way. There's a pile of junk in my way, so I can't dodge the enemy. If you didn't notice, they did it on purpose. There's piles of that shit all in the room. And they realize that the boss is actually not challenging. It's the room that kills you. <laughs> Fucking stupid. <clears throat> Pardon me. shape or form. It's Tevin's fall. It's Jefferson's fault. There's a sick motherfucker on the internet called Super Clown, or whatever the fuck this idiot's name is. Why are you an idiot if you don't agree? If you don't agree, because when you have factual evidence of something, you not just going to put your face in the door and do something else, you're an idiot. So dumb. Dumb gimmick fight. <laughs> I don't think you can dodge that attack at all. I haven't dodged it once. He immediately shot poison and immediately did two bites with no delay between the two attacks. So there's no way to get out of the way and then try to heal or do anything. The boss fight is just fucking stupidity is what it is. It's not fun. Every idiot out there, oh, it's the best gimmick boss fight. Yeah, you 
suck the balls. You take Miyazaki's balls into the mouth and you suck the testicles. They get, it's not a good fight. It's stupid. There's no critical attack. You down him, you can't do anything. You just got a few R2. Because there's no critical at all. It just doesn't work. Look out, there's a black woman coming. Ah! She takes them both out. Boom! Steals the backpack and runs away. Oh! out of the way and I can't dodge around. I can't even see what's going on. so bad that you can't dodge on reaction in this fucking piece of shit game. La, 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 can't la, dodge la, anything on reaction, la, man. It doesn't like work. Singing voice. La, 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 what a waste la, la, la. of time this boss is. A waste of my fucking time. Optional waste of time boss. Gimmick bullshit. Grab some Give salt. me a real fight. Tiger, tiger, grow, 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 tiger, grow. 
memorize every input and you predict what he's doing and you do the input absolutely perfectly early to dodge the attack which isn't fun it's a gimmick fight with a dumb fucking spear just come down here let me fight you instead of being a gimmick what, what do i do Taking poison damage, even though he's dead. I have no idea. How am I supposed to react to this? <laughs> How am I supposed to react to that? Wow, what a whoa! The best design boss! Yeah, the best design. Oh yeah. How am I supposed to react to that? You can't see anything. The whole screen is red. There's skulls, there's lava, there's bullshit flying at you. It's insanely poorly made. Insanely poorly fucking made. <laughs> Terrible fight, garbage gameplay. Waste of time. No, I'm not gonna upgrade the spear because the spear's worthless outside of this fight. So why am I gonna waste my fucking resources and my zero runes that I have, which I have nothing to upgrade a spear with? 
It's a complete waste of time, this fight. Shouldn't even be in the fucking game. It should be a real boss. attacks are the way to go. Just spamming the light attack. Hmm. amount of flame skulls coming out of the sky hitting you. How the fuck do you avoid that while he's attacking you? How can you guys seriously say this is a good fight? I don't even understand what the fuck you're talking what, about. What do I do? Unless, again, there's some mechanic I don't understand I'm supposed to be doing. How the fuck do you stop it once he summons the skulls? It's over. It's literally the fight is over once the skulls start coming down. I just don't what understand. Do I, do? I really don't get it at all. In any way. How is this good? No way to avoid that at all. I still haven't avoided it once.
I can't do the attack now. So you broke the bomb here. Legitimately my least favorite part of the game so far. I'm not even kidding. That was It looked cool and played like fucking shit It looked awesome. I love the design of the boss I sure coat. I Love the design of the boss the entire combat of it is a waste of fucking time It's just a gimmick room where you roll into shit and get stuck and die you get stuck on the wall The camera gets stuck. You can't see all the bosses' attacks are insanely giant swooping attacks. They're incredibly hard to dodge. Then at the second phase, he has a fucking ability that fills the whole room with flaming fucking skulls that you can't dodge unless you mash like an asshole. Oh my god, that was bad. Fuck me. I want to throw this spear out into the fucking trash. <laughs> Oh. All right, let's go back to my fucking build. I'm disgusted. I'm absolutely disgusted. Where are the items? Here we go. I'm absolutely disgusted in every way. <sighs> All right, it's time for many shout-outs. So, let's see here. Xi Jinping to the dollar fifty says the camera is stuck because you're backed up against the wall. Yes, because you can't see the wall because the camera sucks, just like every other FromSoft game. Correct. Dodge left or right, not backward or into him. You keep dodging backwards, and it's pitting you against the arena. Except that there's these giant piles of bones and bodies, game? and if you dodge left or right, you get stuck on those. Hence the reason I was trying to go backwards. Joe did Jew, J O O. Alive in well in Israel. Says, Why don't you let the boss attack first, then hit him? You're spamming and then crying. As you saw, I was. However, if he does the poison attack, incredibly hard to get out of the way. If he does the lava attack, invincible to dodge. You can't. And then the second phase is completely different. Not day. Xi Jinping to the dollar fifty says your dodge Still timing is awful. You're panic day. dodging and the grab move too early. And as you saw, I did get better at the grab move. I did start dodging the grab move consistently. I will actually agree with Xi Jinping on that one. My timing was terrible at first, but then I learned it. And by the way, was I doing it on reaction? No, I was doing it early because the dodge is so delayed in the game, you actually have to dodge early. Uh, Levi Titan tipped me a dollar fifty. says, there's an item to negate the skull phase called the Gift of Eden hidden in the back of the boss room. You've got to be kidding me. There's an item in this room hidden that negates the fucking skulls. Seriously. Where? Where? 
Spawn kill him to dollar fifty. Actually, did it snow by me? To my knowledge, no. But I haven't looked outside. So if you're gonna be an asshole, snowing, you're gonna be treated like, like an asshole. No. You're gonna be shown the door. Uh, There's a hidden item in the room. Uh, Reverse 750 says, You might think the lava he was in kills you. It doesn't. You could have been next to him killing him, which would have been easier. But it hit me. You think I grabbed it already? It wasn't called Gift of Eden. What are you talking about? I didn't grab something called Gift of Eden. I grabbed a, 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 an outfit. That was called Eye of Eden. Yeah, right. Hidden path. It was an outfit, right? I Circo. The insignia emblazoned on the front marks out the wearer as the eyes and ears of Sir Gideon the All-Knowing. Is that it? <clears throat> That's a completely different name. That's not what you said at all. <laughs> If that's it, if she's saying if I put that on, the 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 skulls don't come for me. Okay. I don't get it. So one, two, three, four, five. Okay, five more dollars of tips. Thank you, guys. So I'm being told now I should go back. Or I should, should I reset the room, maybe? There were super chats as well, and I'm going to do the super chats. I need th that money. I really do. I need that money to pay my bills. Oh, you have to visit Lady Tanith, then return to the room. Go to face. Okay. Why am I sitting? I keep sitting like an idiot. All right. All right, guys. We got about an hour left on stream. Let's see about the super chats. So we had. I rock back and forth with the X and Y axis, talking about Dante's Inferno. Uh, I couldn't play it on YouTube over 10 years ago. They didn't let me. They actually prevented me from uploading it to YouTube, saying it was too adult-oriented. I don't know if that would change today, but no one seems to care about Dante's Inferno anymore. Okay, did a super chat saying, I love every moment of this. I'm glad you love my suffering, okay? Squeeze Banana did a super chat saying, consider a second Kirby playthrough permadeath run. No. And Burnt Zapato did a super chat saying, if you wore the surcoat, the skulls do no damage. Okay, so that is it, the surcoat. Now, how would you know that exactly, right? Again, unless you research ahead of time... If you research ahead of time and you know that, then you know, run, grab the circle, put it on. How the fuck would you know that? You don't. The game requires prerequisite knowledge. There's no way you could know unless you, you looked ahead. So. You. It's true then. The. <laughs> You've defeated our lord. No. I must thank you. Our lord was yet weak. You have taught us that. <laughs> Defeat is not the end. Our Lord is immortal. And will one day rise again. Stronger. Or so you Until think. Until then, I must stay the path. And do my part. I will leave the Volcano Manor before long. I suggest you do the same. I will miss these encounters. The champion who walks the tainted path shines all the more. I always was an admirer. This is farewell. Perhaps we will meet again along the path. So now I gotta go back. Where is it? It's gone. It's gone. Oh, there it is. In the middle of the pool. Oh, 
Oh, jeez. Ew. What the fuck? Oh, it's his head. It's his fucking head. Oh, you. Allow me some time. Our Lord's carcass is vast and not easily consumed. Dear Rikard, please find purchase within me. I wish to be your serpent. Oh. Your family. One day. Let us devour the gods together. Dear Rikard, I wished one day. My lord, Rikard. Fighting a random crucible knight. <laughs> so weird. It's the flame version of the crucible knight. Aspects of the Crucible Breath. We had the Tail Whip, and now we got the Breath. Ugh. Alright. Did I watch someone play through this part already? No. I'm doing what the people in the stream chat told me to do. <laughs> Martin says, what do you mean random? It's the knight that was next to Tanit the entire game. Yeah, but he didn't look like that. He didn't look like a Crucible Knight to me. He looked like a unique knight, like a Hell Knight. But he's actually the Crucible Knight, which I didn't realize. It was fucking super easy. Consort's Mask, Consort Robe, Consort Trousers. Yuck. So he let the snake eat him, oh and when the snake God. ate him, the so God-Devouring Serpent, it basically he became it, right? Ugh. Yuck. Reminds me of the God Devourer from Dark Souls 3. The one that ate, what's his name, Godwin or whatever? Gwendolyn? No, the one that ate Gwendolyn? Yeah. Alright, well... A new Remembrance. Remembrance of Riker, Lord of Blasphemy, hewn into the Erd Tree. The power of its namesake can be unlocked by the Finger Reader. Alternatively, it can be used to gain a great bounty of runes. Riker took the form of a giant serpent that he might devour, grow, and live eternally. I understand. The road of blasphemy is long and perilous. One cannot walk it unprepared to sin. Alright. So we might see what I can make out of that. There's the rune that we need to go charge. Riker's Great Rune. Seek the Divine Tower of West Altus, which stands upon the precipice. We have that. We can go right to it, actually. We have a fast travel, so we could do that. We will. All right. So we have a few things to do here. Mask worn by Tanith, Lady of the Volcano Manor, in the image of a foreign queen. Increases your dexterity. Long ago, when Rikard first set eyes on Tanith, she was working as a dancer in a foreign land. Soon he made her his consort. She was the only human to remain by his side when he became the Serpent of Blasphemy. In that moment, Tanith was truly charmed by him. 
Well, it raises your dexterity. It's not bad. Your dex build is probably really good. Same thing? No. This one doesn't raise dexterity. It just it has zero poise, too. Okay. All right. Well, we have a few things to do. First thing, I said we go try... try bleh, let's go charge the rune. And let's see what it does, right? Let's see what the rune actually does. <clears throat> the door opens now. Maybe it's better than what I'm using Morgoth's rune, which is hell. Maybe this rune's better, right? Wait, what was that? Did you see that? There's something there that's black. What the hell was that? I don't know if that was just a graphical thing. I've never seen that before. A black streak like that. Weird. Guts, I'm glad you're enjoying the stream. They said, Phil, you know, we contribute to you, but it always seems like it's a black hole. Because it always seems like no matter how much we contribute, you're always still having problems. You're what always still in debt oh, and, and nothing's getting better. A, a I something. agree with you. Just a, literally a lightning bulb, a graphical glitch. It wasn't anything significant. Okay. Divine West Tower of Altus. I'm interested to see if this rune is any better than the others. What's in the box? It's also What's cool. Now you can see all of them. And you know from the map, you actually know all the different towers. There they are, see? The only one we don't know yet is the isolated divine tower. We found a way to teleport to it, but we don't actually know what it does yet. Makes me feel like there's one more ring shard bearer to come, right? There's got to be one more. Because you could charge one more rune there. This one over here, we've done. Yeah, this is the only one left. Darzy says, you notice all the all the towers form a ring? Of course. It's supposed to be the Elden Ring. Of course. All right, let's see what this does. All right. So, okay. It's Blessing Restores HP upon defeating enemy. So it doesn't PayPal. necessarily just give you a standard buff, but you'll always get HP back when you kill enemies. Rygard was among the children of Renala and Radagon, who became demigod stepchildren after Radagon's union with Queen Merica. So same as Radon. Yup. But Rygard fed himself to the Blasphemous Serpent, Great Rune and all. So there you go. Man. These kids didn't have a good time. Radon lost his mind being overcome with Scarlet Rot during a war. Riker lets himself being eaten by a god serpent. I mean, what, what do I do? Yikes. So Morgoth and Godric are brothers, right? Or at least half-brothers, because they're of the golden lineage. These two were the kids of it's those. It's Tevin's the fault. The kids of Renala and Radagon, so they're kind of like one step down, right? Yeah. Somehow they still had pieces of the Elden Ring, though. Hmm. Okay. Weird fucking lore. It seriously is weird lore, dude. It's so odd. It's so odd. Excuse it's me. Super Hound's okay. fault. They became stepbrother. All right, what, I give up. Um, I might actually want to use this one. Reason being, the other ones, oh, the no, others, so right? Streaming you. You, you oh, really no. only get a buff, and you die, you lose it. In this case, if you have this equipped and buff, every time you you kill someone, you're gonna get health back. So it might actually be a really useful one. I might use this. I think I will. Might be my favorite one. I can't block. Now, let's go back to the round table hold and see what you get from his remembrance. People are saying it's a really good weapon. If 
find out. So if you're going to be an asshole, you're going to be treated like an asshole. You're going to be shown the door. It's baby thousands of books. Okay. Uh, I receive power from remembrance. Oh, wait. Equipment of champions? Is there more equipment now? Radon, Queen, Briar Helm, Radon. No. It's just the three. The Phil Omen's cloak. All right, nothing new there. So, here it is. So, two weapons. We've got the Blasphemous Blade Great Sword. Strength, Dex, Faith Build. It's physical and fire. What do I do? So it's similar to the Magma Worm Sword I was using earlier. Sacred Sword of Riker, Lord of Blasphemy. Remains of the countless heroes he has devoured writhe upon the surface of this blade. Now they share the same blood bound together as family. Some HP is restored when you defeat an enemy. Unique skill is called the Taker's Flames. Raise the Sacred Sword aloft and set it ablaze with the Blasphemous Flames. Bring it down to fire off a forward blast. The flames steal HP from those they touch. An HP sucker. That's kind of interesting, don't you think? I do think so. Now here we got a, a 40 intelligence, 18 faith spell, Rikard's Rancor. It's the fucking skulls. Summon searing spirits that leave a trail of delayed explosion in their way. These spirits manifest from the rancor of heroes who met a violent end. The Lord granted them an audience, whereupon they were welcomed by the maw of the great serpent. Within the serpent's bowels, they became the Lord's kin. That's disgusting. Uh, this sounds pretty good. It does sound pretty good. Getting HP back for every hit is pretty sweet. The bummer here is that it's a fire base instead of a faith. But it does scale with faith. I think I'm going to make it. Now go forth, the, door. the first actual boss weapon I made in the game. Right? Now the funny thing is... I could probably oh. level it up pretty high. If I so choose, but that's going to use a lot of my somber spitting stones. I think I can only level two things uh -huh. up like at this point. Is it worth it? I wonder. Fuck, I keep... Well, I took you for no matter to lay out your own. Gout, 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 gout. Fatty, fat, fuck, fuck. See how this goes. I can buy a somber smoothing zone three. That's okay. I'm not limiting myself here. Enchanted hat of money buff reduces your salt levels while the hat is worn. <laughs> what the fuck? <sighs> If I use the 9, I'm basically locking myself out of taking something else all the way up right now because I only have one 9. However, that's going to get strength and deck scaling to C. So that jump is pretty significant. If you take a look at the scaling buffs, they do jump a lot. Ugh. Really? Elliptic today has been incredibly slow. In the mountain area. Look at that fucking thing. And it matches my armor to some extent. It's moving. Oh, God, it moves. Look at it. Ooh, those are the souls of the dead warriors that were basically assassinated and absorbed into Rikert. And now their souls are stuck to the sword. Oh. That's both awesome and absolutely disgusting. Right? So you know what? I'm one-handing the fucking thing, right? Wow, what a moron. Maybe you shouldn't have just stood still. Paid attention, dumbass.
the jellyfish shield. Do you want to play the, the divine game? scene acts as in, in itself a secret invocation gradually restores the carrier's HP. Interesting. Ooh. Interesting. It's none of anyone's business. This has been an interesting stream for sure. I like the dual wielding, but let's see how we do with a shield, shall we? I haven't used a shield the entirety of the playthrough. Hmm. For Tuzum Zone, what is your question about channel memberships? Let's hear it. How do I scale this thing? There's going to be a very simple way up. I, I almost guarantee it. There'll be a jump pad somewhere. It's not going to be complicated. It's going to end up being, like, matter-of-fact easy later. But right now, they're trying to make it confusing, right? <clears throat> I just rolled. I'm medium weight. I don't have money to do it. Only medium weight. The heavier shields, yeah, is a problem. I don't have money to do it. 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 With each level, I should be able to put on even better shields after the fact. But the good thing is this this shield is going to auto-restore my HP. What, what do this I do? This sword heals every time I kill an enemy. The special ability Not on the this. sword heals every time I kill an enemy. And the special ability heals every time it hits an enemy. So, I mean, pretty unique situation. Yes, Jay, what? today was a good, a definitely a good day for tips, and I'm very pleased with that. I really needed the help. Thank you to everyone who tipped me today. I appreciate it, guys. Low HP regen and my health just came back when I killed him. Haha, <laughs> man. This is cool. This is a cool build. So. Maybe this way, right? Maybe. Not really clear. I went west already. I guess we'll go east. Let's see what's east. What it presumes are you gonna do any members only streams or members only interaction? No, we're not doing that. I've already explained many times why it doesn't make sense. Members get perks and stuff, but there's no members only gameplay streams or anything like that. No, there's no plans for that. Oh no! Look, I get health back. This is excellent. Look how much health I get back. A big chunk. 
This is going to dramatically reduce the amount I need to heal. Fun! Double kill. I think we got a gold seed over there. Of course, now his stagger is going to reset. <sighs> you annoying fuck. Are you going to just complain all night? Just leave that. Be an asshole. You treat it like an asshole. You're gonna be showing the door. Now give me your health. Oh, good chunk of health. Sadly, I didn't get full heal, but man, it was a good chunk. We got a golden seed up here. I know. I can't believe the stream's almost over either. We barely did any exploration because we ended up doing. An NPC quest and then finished Volcano Manor, so it is what it is. And they have two now, and they have two golden seeds. Alright, just give it to me. <laughs> I have slow HP regen too, which is very slow, but you can see it's inching up very slowly, like tick 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 tick. Still won't work. Look. Still won't work. There we go. Alright. I got this halberd, but I think I already had one, right? I'm pretty sure I already had the golem halberd. Oh. A new mm. point of grace. The Ghoulum. Ghoulum Halberd. Okay. When is the next Kirby stream? Uh, Wednesday night. Yes, Wednesday night. What is this called? The Freezing Lake? What, what do I do? A new area called the Freezing Lake. What, what do I do? Okay. 
Wh what do I do? I mean, I could look off the distance. Is there a purpose to this? That's what I want to do. I want to get up top here, but I don't know how to get over there. There's got to be a way to climb this. Is it behind me? It's behind me. So we go around and up here. You That's how you get play up. The okay. Game? It works. People are saying that the fast response today worked. Work. Uh oh. We were saying the fast response worked. And you guys are seeing that I can react to you guys right away. That's cool. Boss here. You would think there was a checkpoint there. There's a boss. There's no boss in this frozen lake. Really. It's just empty. An empty frozen lake. That's lame. This would be the perfect spot for a boss. God damn it. <laughs> We're gonna have these problems again. What, what do I do? God damn it. The I got it. Ash of War Sepuku. Kill yourself. Okay. Well. Weird. It definitely looks like this should be a lake with a boss. Why else was there a checkpoint at the ed entrance to the lake? But there's like nothing here. It's pretty empty, actually. Why is it glowing here? There's nothing here. Weird, is this a lighting thing? Yeah, there's like nothing there. It's a waste of time. <laughs> it's rising to a toxicity. Oh, look what I found. Oh, I'm so excited. <laughs> I'm so excited. Martin says, Sapuku is the best blood-based art of war, or ash of war in the game. Use an arcade, his arcade build. It's absolutely insane. Hmm. Stop this! Spirit Caller Cave. I need to call out to some spirits. I need to ask them what the fuck they were thinking with that Riker boss fight. <laughs> hey, spirits! Can you jump the barrier and tell FromSoft to not make that fight? Change it up to be a real boss? It's a stupid gimmick. My laugh sounds like ack, ack, ack. So when I laugh and I go, <laughs> summoning. Or, ha, <laughs> Does that sound like ack, ack, We have a hole. No. It sounds nothing like that at Ooh, all. Oh, there's the hole. I see the hole. Be wary of the butthole. Treyarch, you are a bunch of fucking dumb fucks. Really? Monica says if you go to deep parts of the frozen lake, there's a special surprise. No doubt. Absorb all the health. Beautiful. Oh, a shitty arterial leak. It's so, some homo. There's two ways to go. No, there's not. There's one way to go. Wait. There's one way to go. Unless it's an illusory wall. It's not. But there's a material cave moss. Very exciting. Perhaps the entire cave will be like this, right? Summon monsters? 
No trap ahead. Oh, good. Rune Arc. Hero Rune 1. Golden Rune 10. And I got health, and I don't even know why. I just got health for no reason. Not gonna complain. Two hand the weapon when I'm not using the shield. I guess I could, but everything's here is easy, right? I'd rather just run around with the shield for defense if I need it. You know, if I go to a boss, maybe I'll uh, I'll two hand. It's an interesting build. In one day, my entire build went again changed to this new armor set, a crazy new weapon that looks insane, and then a fucking sh a cool shield. It's pretty nice. do it. What the fuck? There's no point to being here. <laughs> oy, oy, oy. Anyway. Oh, hi! Who the fuck are you? Inaba. It's Inaba, disciple of Okina. I didn't even get anything. You usually get an item when you kill one of those. I didn't get shit. I guess it was a trap. <laughs> All right. And a golden rune. Where is the snail? Where is the snail? Whole, a whole armor set. Is there a second snail? There must be, because there's still wolves. I'm a pussy. And this asshole. There's got to be a second snail. I don't see it. Maybe it's on a ledge, because I'm not... Oh! Fuck face! No, la 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 la! Ah, la 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 la! Got him! Clear the room! So there you go. That's why I don't get an item from killing those guys because they're summons from the snails. Cool. I got a whole new armor set to check out. Thank you to Commander Gadget Plays for a, a super chat. I appreciate that. What? It said I got an armor set. Maybe I didn't get the helmet? Oh, white reed armor. Armor of the white reeds, fashioned from banded what, from what iron plates. Do? Worn by the Inaba, head disciples of the great swordsman Okina. The Inaba traveled in pursuit what, what not only the master who abandoned them, but also proper deaths, won honorably through hard fought combat. To be a white reed is to seek death, fitting for the Inaba, who desired nothing more than to die by the sword. Interesting. I like how they, that's the uh, samurai style armor, right? Pretty cool. Shout out to Commando Gadget Place, who now become a channel supporter as well. Thank you. Thank you so much. Super chat and a membership. Really appreciate it. All right. I officially love this build. I'm getting so much health back. I don't need to ever heal. Boss ahead. Okay. Now we two hand. All right. He's 
summon, isn't he? Doesn't that mean there's a snail in the room? Looks like he's a summon. Maybe I'm wrong. Maybe you do have to fight him dead up. All right. All right. Never mind. It's been pretty slow. Whiffed. Got me with the pullback and the combo. Definitely know that fight a lot better now, huh? Wait, that's not it! Oh my god, you gotta fight them both? I forgot to reassign my flasks. I completely forgot to reassign my flasks. So I didn't have enough healing. I have way too much FP. And now I, oh, okay. Oh, it didn't fucking give me a checkpoint outside of the fight. Oh, that's great. Yeah, I definitely need like one or two, yeah. Yeah, I don't need that much. Maybe two. Okay. Ooh, excuse me. All right, Pepsi Character Pip is now permanently banned. Well, I have to go through the whole cave again, don't I? The game decided in all its wisdom around. to not have a why, checkpoint why outside of the boss. I, I am. I'm not fucking so I now have to man. run through the entirety of the fucking cave again. Great. I love Hulk Hogan's dick.
Attack, he's not doing shit, look! So delayed. says, oh, he's going to combo and hit you twice with the roll instead of once. So it does double damage. Right. What's funny is the first time you fight them, you definitely think the skinny godskin apostle is the scarier one. I actually now think the fat guy is the tougher opponent. I really believe that. In this, at least in this fight, he's dealing way more damage. He's got crazier range.
die. Again, a stupid multi-hit combo. Again, it's the same shit again. Where he hits me with two hits in one, and it does double damage and kills me. That's the second time in a row. First it was the roll, then it was a double stab. Two hits. Uh, I'm gonna get him. I mean, it's a fun fight. I actually like it because it's fair. It's one-on-one, -on -one, twice. And I know I can do it. It's just, it's bad luck with those fucking hits. All right, that's it for today. Next time around, obviously, we retackle that, and uh, I'm going to beat it. Hopefully, get a good reward for it. You know, this is a new area. I'm excited that this is a new area, and I'm t taking on new challenges. Sucks that I'm fighting the same fucking guys again and again, but at least it's uh, a different version and a different outing. Oh, here but, we go. Now wow, today was interesting. Champions. He was a piece of shit. Today was interesting. You piece of donkey the shit. amount of progress. How about this? I mean, from the beginning of the stream to How now, I got a completely different build, WWE uh, which is neat. And, uh... All right. I hope you guys like the stream WWE despite my rage and hating that fucking optional boss fight, which I really feel like fight is the worst in the game so far. I don't it's really shitty. But outside of that, I hope you that you guys did. enjoyed the stream. You Thank you so much for the very the fucking large game amount will, of support on today's you're an idiot. stream. You're an Until next time later in the loser. week. Peace out. All right, guys. Amen. So, that is it for Elden Ring. It is break time for me. If I can get down on my hands and knees and say thank you and shave a shower between the streams. Later tonight. On the late stream, it will be Skyrim After Hours, two hours of old school throwback Skyrim fun. We're going to be doing the Dark Brotherhood quest line tonight, so I hope you'll join me around 6.45 p.m. Pacific time if, if you can. All right? Remember, I am not here tomorrow. When I return on uh, Tuesday, it'll be more LEGO Star Wars and Kirby, and then there'll be more Elden Ring coming up on Thursday. Okay, guys? Mm. Thank you. Thank you so much. I'll see you tonight, hopefully, for Skyrim. Peace out.
让大众更能深刻的和正确的去认识它。然后我们针对做图样的概念，就是说能用来欢乐和乐趣就可以了。而且我觉得它可以改变我们对生活的态度，就是你要去坚持和呃做一些与众不同的这样一些东西
that again.